Good afternoon, and we're sorry about the uh, the delays at the moment. We are currently troubleshooting one or two minor issues. We seem to be just about there now, so play will begin in a few moments' time. Just bear with us. Okay.
Good afternoon and welcome to the game. Sorry about the delay whilst we troubleshot one or two uh, items. One of our players was unable to see his own uh, dice rolls, but we seem to have fixed that temporarily. So, <coughs> I'm going to ask the, um, the players to introduce themselves when I get round to um, introducing their characters in just a moment's time. But I'll run you through the basics. I'm Brian F. Irving, I'm from DH9 Radio and Get So Many Games. I'll be your Games Master for this afternoon. We'll be playing uh, Pandora's Wake Apocalypse Age. This is the Pandora's Wake setting by Get So Many Games, set to the modern age rule system by uh, Green Ronin Games. The music you'll be hearing is by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com and by the DH9 Radio Production Unit. Sound effects are provided by DH9 Radio's Foley Unit, Battle Bards, Freesound.org and uh, various of the presenters from DH9 Radio as well and you'll be hearing their voices just a little bit later. Uh, I'll just open everybody's channels and today the players are uh, Mark Saval as Rab, Mark Saval as Rab. Hi there. Uh, Chris Gibson as Adam Taylor. Hello. Uh, Jenny Saval as Erin Black. Hi. Ben Watson as Joe Watson. Hello there. Sean McGuire as Thomas Gallagher. Amen. And Marie McGowan, uh, McGowan Irving as Elizabeth Lizzie Ryan. Hello. That will be your cast for this evening, playing their uh, their characters. And we're picking up from where we left off. If you haven't seen the first few episodes, <coughs> excuse me. The party began as relative strangers on the underground light rail system for Newcastle upon Tyne in Newcastle, which for those of you who don't know, is called the Metro. Uh, they were there late at night when the Pandora event, a strange event that's torn holes in the fabric of our universe, occurred trapping them underground with strange creatures from the otherverse, the bizarre universe that's tearing its way through to ours. They managed to outrun uh, numerous creatures that were chasing them through the underground tunnels and made it onto the surface with only a minor skirmish with one of the creatures that, uh, that ambushed them on the way out. Uh, which Rab and uh, Lizzie, the two Glaswegians, strangely enough, uh, beat to death, uh, <laughs> frankly, <laughs> before they uh, fled onwards through Newcastle, making it to uh, Thomas Gallagher's um, garage, where he was repairing several cars, one of which was Aaron's car. Uh, whilst there, the characters were attacked by more of the creatures. Fortunately, Rab was on hand to petrol bomb them. Um, <laughs> Also, Erin and uh, Elizabeth fought the others off with lengths of pipe and, in Elizabeth's case, uh, just kicking them. Um, eventually, they fought the creatures off. They'd called various loved ones and whatnot. Erin's father and brother have arrived on site. And currently, you are uh, about to sort out where you're going next. You know that you need to pick up Lizzie's sister, who's just around the corner. And you're having a little bit of a listen to the uh, news articles that are coming in through the radio at the moment. So, let me just play those for you. Due to multiple incidents in the city of Newcastle, people are being asked to avoid the city centre. The chief constable for the region asked people to evacuate the city centre in a calm and reasonable manner, cooperate with the police, and where possible, remain indoors, away from windows, and secure the premises. More information to follow. Did anyone else get a bit of an echo on that? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we are still having some problems, some issues with the sound player that we were having earlier before we started. Never mind. We'll uh, we'll muddle on through it and hope for the best. So, um, currently you have... Do you want me to pan you over to the uh, location you're actually in? The yes. workshop. There you go. So currently you have uh, gathered in the workshop. You also have Erin's um, father and brother have joined oh, you. Oh, you flipped the map. Well. Sorry? Is everyone is still able to control you my You flipped talk? the map. I flipped the map? It was, uh, 
it was oh. facing the other way last time. Like the garage was at the top. Uh, yeah, the garage was at the top me. for me. The garage was at the top. Oh, I um, never mind. Okay. I thought we had another side. technical issue there, but apparently it's just Ben's eyes. <laughs> no, no, the only I thing just, that's changed I, I for me is mistaken. the car's not on the repair thing anymore. Uh, that's right, because somebody I just, I just mistaken the inside of the garage for outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is what I have to deal with on a regular basis, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe I game with this guy twice a week? Um, Must be the shooting. He loves us, really. Has <laughs> he been sniffing the petrol fumes? <laughs> well, the petrol fumes could, I suppose, be causing you some issues as well. So I'm just going well, to I was quite you. happy for you to think it's petrol fumes. <laughs> <laughs> Has okay. the fire died down yet? The fire outside is still blazing away nicely, which, considering there are two fires where the two petrol bombs impacted, yeah. uh, there's a good chance that if there are any more of those creatures out there, that that's liable to draw their attention. Or indeed, if there's anybody else out there, that's liable to draw their attention. So, what's everybody currently wanting to do? Uh, are there We've any... shut the shutters, though, haven't we? We've shut the yeah. door. Uh, yeah. You can shut Are the doors any... again because everybody's inside now. So you can no, hear no, the. the, the I think you did that last <laughs> time, actually, yes. So the shutters have rolled down, the doors uh, are shuttered tightly. You can't see out of those at the moment. The windows are shuttered. You can see out of those because very similar to the shutters we have up at Pack, the sort of metal shutters with like a grill effect. So it'll stop people getting in, but you can still kind of see out if you stand close enough. Jenny, you were saying, sorry. Um, I was just going to ask if there were maybe any fire extinguishers. <laughs> Absolutely, but... there were several fire extinguishers in the uh, the garage because it would be virtually suicidal not to have. So first of all, you've got uh, this yep. fire hose over here, not advised around petrol fires because it does tend no. to cause the petrol to float off down the, the, the way. You also have sand buckets and... Um, CO2 two extinguishers over here by these red um, fire boxes. Right, well, uh, do we think it's worth putting these fires out then? Um, I think I would say so. <clears throat> well, these manta ray war, manta wars seem to be affected by the light, as we've seen in the underground. So how long? Well, how long does it take for alcohol to burn or petrol? I guess petrol for alcohol to burn, not that long. It would burn up fairly yeah. quickly. But Rab wasn't using alcohol; he was using petrol. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so this petrol could burn for quite a while. Also, the second petrol bomb, the one that Erin slightly missed through because she was worried it was going to go off in her hand, um, mm -hmm. is worryingly close to one of the cars that are parked outside. And um, yeah, let's yeah yeah. It's a let's... Michael Bay movie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, go dump some sand on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So cranking the shutters on the door back up a bit so that you can scramble out underneath. You don't need to open the, the, the full length. Um, whoever's going to fight the fire, move yourselves out to within a couple of squares of the fire and let's see how things go. While they're doing that, I'm going to keep the, the remaining four petrol bombs in the case next to me. Yes. While looking if there's any materials to make some more, because obviously they work. They certainly uh, do, yeah. And while I'm doing that as well, I'm going to produce strange looking cigarette from my tax suit pocket. Because that's what you want to be doing <laughs> while you're dicking about with petrol. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So, um, Rab sticks another spliff in his mouth. He's still got his lighter in his hand. And he's currently standing above the remaining four petrol bombs. <laughs> <laughs> and for anybody at home that thinks nobody is that daft, believe me, when I used to have my explosives license, um, I saw many people that were that daft. I remember somebody once coming with a pipe to stand next to me while I was making ground charges with gunpowder. <laughs> yeah, I, I walked with somebody about two or three years ago <coughs> and we had a big massive bale of a cushion down cardboard for to go send off to recycling. Yeah. He put something in it accidentally that had a lithium battery that set the cardboard on fire. Oh, <laughs> while it, it activated to start cushion stuff, he jumped in to stamp <gasps> out the fire. Oh no. That's oh, the stupid God. some people can be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 
Okay, so, uh, Rob, first of all, I'm going to... Are you actually lighting oh, that uh, spliff, or are you uh, just sticking it in your gob to suck? Um, I'm going to stick it in my mouth just now while I'll look for more materials. Right. But at some point, it will be getting lit. <laughs> okay, let me know when you light it. Uh, for the Hold time you. being, could I have a perception searching roll for, from you, please? Resonating little lithium-ion batteries, that's UN3 something. Right? <laughs> You're a little bit quiet there, Sean. Not yeah, so badly that I couldn't hear you, but just a little bit on the quiet side. Ah, uh, it's uh, it? the issue with the microphone uh, again. Ah, yes. Yeah, right. yeah you know how this. I said it, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Patrick and I had a good long chat mm -hmm. right yeah. after you'd gone sort of thing about various things, but yeah. yeah. Okay. Could have broadcast that as a show. <laughs> <laughs> well, possibly, yes. Okay, so um, I'm on the wrong panel here, I think. I'm still, oddly enough, I'm showing one panel, but it's showing me that I should be seeing another. So fun and games today, but we'll battle on. Rab, you've scored a nine for your perception. So glancing around, you can't see any other useful containers that you could siphon some more of the petrol into to make more petrol bombs. You're a bit disappointed because you've only got four left and you've already used two. Um, so what you decide to do is co kind of um, take one of the petrol canisters and um, oh, keep. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say keep that so you can make petrol bombs later. Yes. Theoretically, yes. you could use that as a petrol bomb, but it would be extremely dangerous because the blast radius will be larger, but the throw distance will be a lot smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, can I just say as well, mm -hmm. do you really think Rab would be above going round the back and dipping the buns? Uh, actually, I wouldn't in the slightest. <laughs> okay. In fact, I'll so, actually ask him, he's, he's he'll make you any more bottles of anything in here. Okay, Sean, uh, do you, does Thomas have any more bottles or anything in here? or in the Last window? bottles are not something that I would keep um, within garage. Yeah, the only thing that would you would use that for would be possibly some turpentine, but mm -hmm. I don't think I would have that. Okay. Uh, Maybe without... a couple of houses nearby. There are, there there are some are houses, houses nearby. There's some shops. There's there's some shops there is also there would... a shop nearby, but it'll be shut at this time, isn't it? Uh, be, well, the sports uh, director is shut as well. Do you think that's going to bother Rob? <laughs> no, I don't think can that's going to Can I just say as well, if this this is at the top of that bank it is at the bottom of that bank the, the used bum is the Clooney is the Clooney <laughs> and also there's another pub yeah. whose name I never know the ship I want to say I can never remember the name of the, I the think pub it's the ship because it's because it's weird that's called the ship and there's literally no way you could take a ship near it yeah yeah, so so it's not called the unforgettable ship. No. no. I always think of those two <laughs> pubs in terms of the Clooney and not the Clooney. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so... What, what uh, I'll do then... <coughs> sorry. No, go ahead, is, go ahead. What I'll do then is I'll take one of the remaining petrol bombs out of the case Yep. and still with the, the joint in the mouth, I'm just... I'll be back in a minute, Mark. I was right. I'm just going to go and get some bottles. <laughs> and everybody's like, he's going for booze? What? Meanwhile, is he completely unsurprised? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, meanwhile, those of you who are trying to fight the fire from the previous petrol bomb outside, could I have a try not to blow myself up, roll, please? Which is going to be um, fun in and of itself. Just a second, I need to find my yeah. right sheet here, which is not happening. If I remember correctly, CO2 is for electrical fires mm -hmm. and the um, bucket sander for the petrol ones. I seem to recall yeah. that's correct. I might be yep. misremembering, but I think that's pretty, correct. Sean, pretty sure Sean's pretty sure it is, and given what he does for a living, I'm going to take his word for it. Um, so I would like to use control first on the fire before just tipping anything on it. What, what, what we actually need is we need some organic peroxides to pour on the aliens. Yes, probably. <laughs> Sorry, Chris, could you just say that again? You would like to do what? I would like to try and control the fire using the sand. Instead of just dumping it onto it, I would like to make a ring around each... Like, it's not too close, obviously. Right, But as yes. close as I can around this one here. Yep. <clears throat> to try and stop the spread from going to the car okay. initially. Before okay, we start so you're going, to, you're going to use one of the sand buckets to create like a breaker around it so that when you put yeah. the sand on top of the rust, 
it doesn't push it outwards. It doesn't yeah. push it outwards. Yeah. Very, yeah. very good idea. Good plan. Okay. It is, so I'm going to make the target number for this task a lot easier because you've decided to do it that way. I'm going to ask you all for a... No, man, let me think. Um, hmm. What should I ask for? Let me have a... Uh, I'm going to ask for a dexterity crafting rule because it's the closest thing I can think of. And I'm going to set the target number down from where I was going to set it, down to nine to put this fire out. And the first two of you have both succeeded. So um, as yeah. the uh, sand is placed as a breaker around it and then you start to pour sand on top of it, you can see the, the fires. It's coming under control. It's getting smaller and smaller. It's about there at the moment. We have two successes with a total of six in the pool so uh, is anybody else helping currently i've got erin and adam working on it uh, yeah i'll help okay would you like to give me a roll as well please uh just dexterity yeah dexterity crafting if you've got it i'll allow you to add because that implies some degree of uh, dexterity no, well, no, the, the skill I have under dexterity is acrobatics, and short of me doing it while tumbling, I don't think it's applicable. I don't think that's applicable, no, so let's just have a dexterity roll. Mm, nice roll. That is a nice roll, that adds another two into the uh, success pool, that's five, six, seven, eight. This is, oh. If you're wondering, this is uh, an advanced test where we add the result of the stunt dice to the, uh, the thing. Uh, and I have a target number in mind. Once you exceed that, you'll have controlled the fire. So currently, you've significantly reduced the fire. Most of it's gone out, but there's still bits that uh, you haven't managed to cover with sand yet. There's still the occasional spit. and pff, um, it's, it's, You can see the sand's mostly smothering it, and you've got it controlled in a ring. Um, anybody like to go and get another fire bucket and give it another try? Can I have used yeah. my strength to see if I could have carried two? Uh, yes, go ahead. Um, give me a... S actually, just tell me what your strength is. Uh, two. Oh, yeah. Easily. Easily. So you have another bucket if you'd like to make an additional roll. Okay. You're definitely getting the fire under control. Ah, one more point. So that's um, five, six, seven, eight, nine... <laughs> Of course it is. <laughs> okay, so uh, you've reduced the fire significantly down to about that amount. Okay. Still haven't entirely put it out yet, though. So, what would everybody like to do now? Uh, I'll get another one and try and. Okay, you're starting to run out of fire buckets now because this will be the fifth. There are only six in total. Uh, mm -hmm. It's more than a lot of buildings would carry, but obviously this is a garage that deals with petrol. So. Uh, yeah. Right. You run back and get one of the um, fire buckets. Marie, were you going to say something there, Sorry. Had you got a fire blanket? Yes, got a fire blanket as well. Can we smother the last of it with that? Yes, yeah. you can try it with a fire blanket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would work so then, yeah. if uh, Jenny and Marie, if you'd like to give me another roll, let's see if you can get this fire out. I mean, you're definitely likely to get it out at this point. It's more a case of can you get it out safely oh, without hurting yourselves. Oh, my God, Jenny, that was not a great rule. <laughs> and the answer is that Erin no. Aaron can't. Good. No. <laughs> she's, sure. she's, she's just made a smoke signal and uh, the, yeah. the Apaches are now on the warpath. So, uh, I think I just tripped and spilt the sand everywhere. Well, largely what you've done is you've come back in a bit of a hurry and more or less flung the sand at the fire and it's caused a bit of a back blast, which is... Uh, hit you Shit. for d6 fire damage. So this is wound damage. Uh, okay. Three points. You've burned, singed your arms a bit. Um, Ow. Three points of wound damage. And uh, as you're doing it, um, Lizzie sticks the fire blanket over what's left of the fire, uh, suffocates it and starts uh, stamping on it to, to sort of further tamp it down. And get the finding, control. I'm finding Erin is very clumsy. First with the train, and then there was something else, and then there's it's, this. I'm not clumsy. She, yeah, it, <laughs> technically she's not with a dexterity of plus one, but um, Jenny has this long-running 20-year-old feud with dice rollers <laughs> and dexterity checks. 
Um, yeah, I do. Any game I system, do. anything to do with dexterity or stealth. Yep. <laughs> Without no matter what I do. <coughs> Especially yep. when you're playing the scout. Yep. Oh, yes. Oh. Especially. Even if I've got, you know, the best dexterity score ever, I still roll really shit every time. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so you've got... You somehow, yeah. you somehow managed to roll lower than you're actually supposed to be able to. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, honestly, uh, earlier today, uh, sorry, I think it was last night, I was generating a RuneQuest character for Ben's game tomorrow, um, and I asked my uh, Alexa if she could roll a d20, and the result she gave me was 113. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. <laughs> uh, she summoned again. She summoned again, yes. Okay, so you've managed to get one of the fires from the petrol bomb out. The other one's actually in the process of burning a lot of its fuel, so it's starting to shrink of its own accord, and it's a bit further away. However, yeah. you still don't know whether it's safe or not. So, what would you like to do next? May I take a look at Erin, since she's got some uh, burns? Yes. Uh, you've still got the anti-burn um, creams and, and washers from the first aid kit, haven't you? Um, from yeah. last week. Nice. Yeah. Well, okay, so you can take a look at Erin, who's managed to burn herself. I want to say again, was it you that bur was burned last time as well? It was Probably. an acid burn then, wasn't it? Yes. yes yeah, yeah, it she was by that, didn't yeah. she? Yeah. Of course. Okay. <laughs> so yes, of course. Okay, so Joe, you take a look at. Um, Aaron's arms you can see I'm just going to move you out there so that when all hell breaks loose and more creatures arrive you're in Helm's way you take a look at the burns on her arms they're not too bad but you know you're going to have to get them cooled down fairly quickly so if you two would like both like to move yourself into the bathroom because you're going to have to apply a lot of water to take the heat out of the uh, the wound um, okay or I can do it if you're not sure where the bathroom is. Ah, where you are. Okay. Inside the office. That's beside the office. Yeah, so those two have disappeared into the bathroom together. Uh, Ooh, la, la. What would everybody else like to do? <laughs> right, um, Sean, you're grabbing the welder. Um, I think the stats for that are in one of the handouts. You should be able to have yeah. a look. I take it you're loading that into one of the vehicles? Hmm. Or should I just carry it? Depends what your strength yeah, is. Well, Probably quite it. high, I would imagine. Um, yeah, I've got enough strength to carry it. Yeah, you, you also have a dolly for it, so you could wheel it around on that without too much difficulty as well. Yeah, yeah attached um, to a Segway. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, if those of you are outside who would like to uh, position yourselves wherever you need to be, and if I could get a first aid roll from um, Joe. Quick please. question. Yes. I already rolled one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I did. One. Okay, quick quick question you said, Sean? Yeah, these things down in the lower uh, left corner. Mm -hmm. One's a trailer, obviously. One's a trailer, the other two are uh, dumpsters. dumpsters. Bins. Bins, yeah. They're, they're, I was going to say, is Rab not actually uh, having a rummage? Well, he did say he was going to take have, a look at Yeah, them. I'll actually have a look in them first on my way out of the car park. Okay, so I'm just going to move Rab over to them. Uh, and if you'd like to give me a search roll on the first one, please. Meanwhile, Ben, you've scored a 16, which is more than enough for a pass. Um, you have restored uh, several hit points, to, or health points, I should say, to um, Erin. It's for that last burn, which was three points of damage. So you can't yeah. really restore more than that. You would have done otherwise with a roll like that, but it's for a single wound. Yeah. So... Uh, Jenny, Erin gets three health points back. Hey. Thank May you I very much. do something? Yes, you can. What would you like to do? I would like to examine this thing closely and take documented photographs on my tablet. Okay. That's, that's a burnt one, by the way. Uh, it is. The, the burnt one and a non burnt one. I'll yeah. do it for both. The two These up there are, are a, bit, a bit clearer. Okay. You're doing that. Could I get a uh, perception searching test from you, please? Um, okay. <clears throat> Rab's rolled 11 for his uh, bin diving. Okay. Uh, Rab <laughs> searching <laughs> through the first bin. You cannot believe your eyes. You've managed to find um, somebody uh, has definitely been putting glass bottles in here. Um, Bingo! Even though this is not <laughs> the um, recycling bin. 
somebody's dumped several glass bottles in here. Um, you have managed to find rummaging through the bins. You've covered yourself in the contents of the bin, by the way. Uh, which most, to be fair, this is the bins for a garage, so it's mostly like oily rags and there's nothing. Well, there's there's so some of the guys that cleaner. yeah, some of the guys that work here have like thrown in takeaway food cartons that have still got like curry sauce and stuff. So you've got a few extra stains that you didn't have when you jumped in, and you imagine that these glass bottles must have something to do with them having had uh, something to drink for the. Um, you're interested to see that the the glass. Um, Iron brew bottles. Um, it <laughs> almost makes you feel as if you were at home. Uh, which is odd because most of the shops around here sell it in um, the plastic bottles, which are a bit larger. Um, but there's obviously somewhere sells it in glass. And I do actually know that for a fact, as it happens. <laughs> so, there's actually there's, there's a place near me that sells them as well. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> Okay, so you've managed to find however many were on the stunt dice when you searched. That's five. You've managed to find five more uh, glass bottles, which means you can use the petrol to decant into that. Um, yep. And that gives you another five petrol bombs for later. And, really and that was, that was the first bin. <laughs> that was the first bin, yes. Yeah, so you can have a look yeah. in the second one. check the second one as well then. Oh, okay, go and have a look in the second one. Can I just say as well that the part of Glasgow I'm from, if you're raking in bins, they call you a midgerator. Yes. Uh, <laughs> unbelievably, you've managed to find that. another four glass bottles in there as well. That oh is actually gosh. the recycled bin. <laughs> so somebody's <laughs> put some in the right place. You've managed to find four glass bottles in there as well. Well, one brings in, like it's it's a... take, take the bottles back in make them into petrol bombs, and then one of the cars that we will not be using, I'm going to siphon the petrol out of it and then they can't fill it back up again. Can I have a slightly different idea with the car that I'll talk to Rab about after I've checked out these aliens? Okay, let me just check what your perception roll was. It was 14. Okay, so, of these two aliens, uh, they, they both look very slightly different. In your opinion, they're almost certainly the same species. Uh, but one of them looks a bit odd. Let me just see if I can find it in the... I'm just going to pop my master hand out, uh, out onto my space screen. That'll make life a little bit... <coughs> excuse me. That'll make life a little bit easier for me. And if I show you this, you should get a look at the creature. Okay. So can you now see a pop-up has appeared with the, um, yep. the creature in it? Yeah. Actually, it's just occurred to me if I uh, click on the one you're looking at and hit Control Z, that should do. It didn't. Okay. Uh, it might be Control Shift Z. Control Shift Z. Nope. Oh, one of these sets of. Uh... Control Shift Alt Z. Yeah, just try that. Didn't work. Never mind. You've seen the thing up close. There is a, a short foot, a shortcut that should allow me to show you any token that's on the board in zoomed in thing but I couldn't think of getting it away. Um, so that's what it looks like. It looks as you can see from the picture it does look a lot like the uh, the description I gave you. It looks almost like a ray of some kind balancing on top a lot of squid like limbs. The first one the limbs themselves were sort of pinkish colour. There are a total uh... of about six uh, with three of them short or almost as if they're regrown from where they've been damaged or injured in the past. The main body is a sort of bluey grey colour and you've got three eyes. You've got organs on them that you would take to be gills but they also seem to be able to breathe in air because you've seen them walking around uh, in air quite the thing, not appearing to suffer at all. The second one that you take a look at, the unburned one, looks pretty much the same except it's got some uh, green um what you would initially assume were um uh, extuberances on its sort of upper part on the uh, the ray like part however you're a botanist i seem to recall so you recognize that's not part of the entity that's something else that appears to be some kind of plant life, some kind of um, 
parasitic plant growing on the creature. Okay. Mm. Brian. Yes. And check that out. It's Z, by the way. Sorry? It's Z. Do you mean Z by any chance? Whatever. <laughs> Racist. It's not racist it's to speak Zed. proper English. Z. Right. Yes, you're right. It's just Z. Ah, well, there you go. I was sure it was Control Z or something. But there you go. Okay. So, um, Rab's making some more petrol bombs and loading them into the car. Um, Adam has found something that appears to be some kind of plant life. Adam, could you give me a... Um, Hmm. It'll be intelligence botany role, I suspect. So earth sciences. Earth sciences, yes, I'll do nicely. I have one to get on the table. There we go. Sixteen. Yeah, that's an easy pass. You don't recognise these sort of parasitic plants as anything you've seen before. They are definitely plant-like. They're definitely parasitic in some way. And you have seen parasitic plants, especially aquatic ones, that grow on things. You've seen like the likes of barnacles that grow on uh, rocks or ships' holes and so on. Something about this is a, it's a sort of weird aquatic... Um, the closest you could say would be a mould of some description. Okay. Breathe it in, see what happens. <laughs> you know what it, Ben said it but it came out in Rab's voice <laughs> absolutely yeah. uh, <laughs> yes I mean there's a strong possibi possibility that if uh, Rab sees you he will want to um, try and smoke it <laughs> what I probably know by then this thing is probably um, some form of toxin in it and it possibly poisonous uh, so it could be. Um, There's only one way to find I out. I don't currently have the tools to take a sample of it. I would need to get home. Have I actually seen it? Um, make a perception seeing test. Would you have noticed in the dark without close inspection? Guess we're about to find out. Um, I think 13. he was too busy killing it with extreme prejudice. Okay. <laughs> Rab has not noticed what it is Adam's so intently looking at, but he has noticed that Adam is intently looking at something on the body of this creature. Um, at first you take it to just be the body of the creature, but you're moving kind of backwards and forwards, loading stuff onto the car, and you realise he's spending a lot of time, um, and it's starting to interest you to see what it is. I'll to. continue making my petrol bombs and filling up the can again for now, but once I'm finished, if he's still there, I'm going to go over and have a look. Okay. Now having a better look at these, would my fear have adjusted to them? <clears throat> would your fear have adjusted to these? Yes. So if you still have a fear point, you can reduce it by one now. Okay. Can I just... Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say something to everybody. Should we maybe be phoning the police or something about there being more of these... Should... No, I mean, Denny phoned the polis, right? Denny, just Denny. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Did they not already know? Were they not fighting them up at the They were, they were up the road, but, you know, like they might be a bit busy in that. Uh, Aye, that, that's know. that man, the polis have got too much to worry about right now. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think maybe it might be on the news or something if, we have, if, we have, if there's a line where we've got to phone and report them or something? Uh, you could try listening to the news and find out. Yes. We do have, have, a, have they got a radio on here? Yes, there's do a radio on here. Mm -hmm. We do have a, an internet connection. You do oh, have okay. an internet connection as well. Yeah. Right, time to check social media then. <laughs> um, to, to the to lastly, with my... Last night, which involved officers at the armed response team, saw officers engage with unidentified... Sorry, that's the wrong one. That's for tomorrow. Uh, incident at... Uh, don't mention the event. Don't in the echo, but it might be um, it might be coming through people's mic. Tellingway Passenger Transport Executive have reported that a severe incident on the line near Monument Metro Station has brought the metro network to a standstill. The statement was issued by Nexus in the early hours of the morning and continues to say that regrettably several fatalities have been confirmed. 
Names are not being released until relatives have been informed. Looting and rioting have been reported on the streets of several cities in the region this evening. Looters have rampaged through the centre of the city, attacking businesses and shops along Northumberland Street, Grey Street and the surrounding area. People are being advised to vacate the inner city area and remain indoors. All police leave has been cancelled and riot officers are deploying to strategic locations around the city centre. Expert opinion is divided upon the purple discoloration of the night sky observed in many parts of the world. Although some claim is a combination of numerous rare atmospheric events, a spokesperson from Greenwich Observatory was quoted as saying, we are not aware of any currently observed or detectable atmospheric events that would account for the phenomenon. Okay, so that's what you pick up from the radio. Um, I would like to finalise what I was doing with, at the moment uh, with a quick picture and send the message to my boss at the Life Centre. Okay. You take, a, you take a quick picture of it and send a, a, a message uh, to your boss. You get an almost immediate response, which is, uh, what are we looking at here? Oh, I'll tell him about the fungus uh, that, that I've seen on the on the head of this thing. Okay. Could you give me a perception seeing test while you're busy with your phone, please? Okay. <laughs> it's going to come live. It's funny you should say that, you know, because it really is. <laughs> <laughs> That's odd. That should I had a feeling weird. with that because of the way you said about the tentacles, like two small ones. I, like I would know something about regrowth with plants. And I might have seen possibility that things like this could happen, but I will see. Okay, I've really attempted say. to place what's uh, a token twice now, and it hasn't appeared. Uh, so I do apologise, but trust me, there's a there's a thing. The uh, thing really small. <laughs> there's a thing. <laughs> I mean, it could, could be that they've come in very yeah. small, but they shouldn't have done. They should have snapped to the grid side. Okay, Is fourteen. It... You notice it in time. You can see that the um, the the, the mold-like growth is sort of pulsing and bubbling and expanding, uh. and it suddenly pulls itself off the creature and starts to expand. Just like, do you know when you've got a pressurized can of something, and you um, open the the pressure valve on it, and it just kind of shoots out and expands immediately. It's that kind of effect. It's just kind of. Now, is it uh, not as under the under the monster thing, the ray. Uh, it shouldn't be because one of them are placed off to the side. But I'm going to move the thing. To sit. No, it's not under there. It's not right. under there. It's just not placing. So I'm going to use something <coughs> slightly different. No, I'm not. There's nothing else that looks right. Okay, I'm going to try. No, nope, they're just not placing. The I'm going to wind up with about a dozen of the damn things. Just watch. <laughs> Um, okay, so no, sorry about that. They're just not the. Um, Are you on the, the right layer? Not yes, I'm on the right layer, and no, they're not yeah, placing. Just, yeah. um, so, as it expands, could I get a dexterity uh, test from you, please? Dexterity acrobatics. Okay. We're gonna eat ya. Well, I mean, you're not entirely wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're coming to eat you, Barbara. <laughs> Okay, let me see. What did you get? Um, Eleven. Okay, so you jump back a square, uh, a meter, uh, as this thing begins to expand. What I'm going to do, guys, since the tokens that I'm trying to drag over won't place, we're going to have to use one of the mana walls. I'll just take the dead marker off it, uh, and we'll use that to represent. Yeah. But what you're actually facing is like a, um, a mound of... Well, I tell you what, Adam will know exactly what it is, I should imagine. Give me another life sciences rule. See if the last thing that goes through your mind is, oh, I know what that is. Uh, also, <laughs> in the back of my head, I'm thinking about trying to get uh, someone who might have an aerosol on them and a lighter. Right, yeah. Oh, I wonder who that might be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And 14. What you're seeing is... Um, something like a sort of slime mold an animated slime mold 
uh, Marie, would you like to take it from here? You know quite a bit about these things in real life. Yep. Um, slime moulds are quite simple single cellular organisms, but where they differ from usual slime moulds is they can band together and work as an aggregate, mm -hmm. and it's called a grex. Mm -hmm. um, which so is yeah, exactly you get, basically you yeah. get a slime mold that's kind of works together, so it looks yeah. kind of slug like. It, this this Ish. looks more kind of well, th yes, actually, it does look slug like, but it's standing upright almost. So if you imagine a slug that's standing uh, upright, it's about two and a half feet tall. So uh, say if we say just over three feet tall, so I can say a meter and feel more um, at home. In my I have two options of things I could do here. Hmm? I could just really... straight up. Sorry. Carry on. Carry on. I could straight up either try and get an aerosol and uh, um, a lighter, or I could try and throw it into the fire that's still there, which is quite a distance away um, with a stick. You... <laughs> I wouldn't want to touch it with your hands. You I probably shouldn't do that. No. Uh, you could actually. You could I'm just... just going to uh, remove all. Well, so... even e either way, it would actually give me a chance to think. Right. Like, think if I do even get it just far enough away from me and Lizzie. Okay. If you wanna Could if you everybody wanna like, give me up, an initiative roll please. If you wanna pick it up, use like your stick or whatever to kinda of, like you know. Yeah, I've said that it. a couple of times now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's some good dice rolls we're getting from people. How many there. sixes when came out of that? I didn't select my character, I'm Quite sorry. Quite a few. Now you Three. can't mention it. Three sixes came out of that, so that's another three in the complications pool. Oh, can something oh, bad it... happen already, man? <laughs> what, you don't think this is bad enough? <laughs> no! End of the world! It's gonna be worse. Okay. I'm, I'm, I didn't select my character when I rolled. <laughs> okay, is that everybody's rolled initiative and yeah. has it gone in? <clears throat> Excellent. Okay, so I'll organise that to descending. Um, so... <clears throat> No, you, you haven't added Chris. Chris hasn't been added, right, okay. Um, you got a nine. A yeah. nine. That's okay. Nine? Nine! Add turn. <laughs> um, da, da, da. Did everyone spot the Easter egg? Is it a mighty nine? <laughs> it is a mighty nine, yes. <laughs> okay, so in order for Rab to know there's anything happening from where he is, because he's busy making the petrol bombs, could I need a perception scene test for me? Wow, we're getting a lot of trouble from somebody's mic there. Oh. It stopped while I was saying it. Um, okay, so Rob hasn't uh. noticed this round, so he's going to miss his action this round. Uh, Joe, you're still in the bathroom, but you'll be coming back out now, so you can move yourself into the main building about here. Erin, um, mm. you have also come out because he's finished dressing the wound. You can come out as well. I would actually be over here by the car because I was getting the welder. Yeah. And this appears to have placed that as a man of war, not a jello mold. Um, so. Okay, it's coming up as a man of war, but uh, it's it's used the stats for the right. Would I be control. able to see that through the window? Let no. me just take a look. Um, yeah, you might be able to. Well, if it's on the ground, it's only a metre tall. Uh, yeah, that's a very good point. That so bench is going to be a metre tall. Probably not. At least. That's a very good point. Yes. Remember, so yeah. you still have buckets on you as well. Okay, so the Jello mould, uh, which is um, shown as a man of war for some reason, uh, is... I know how to fix that, actually. Just give me a moment. Uh, it's going to lunge <laughs> forward in an attempt to grab uh, the... Tasty looking human target right in front of it. How does it know he's there? Nine. Nine? Eyeballs? You have no idea. Uh, <laughs> that shouldn't actually have been a nine because it needed a brawling fighting added in. So that should have been a three, not a one. And that should be a three, not a one. However, um, that will still only take it to 12. Uh, Chris, is that above your defence? No. It's on my defence. It's on your defence, right. Okay. Yeah. That's enough. So it's touched you. This is uh, impact. Well, I was thinking damage. previously when I noticed this, would I not have... I had perception with stunt points. 
Would I not have like done something before this happened? Uh, yes, if you had stun points, what would you like to use them for? Uh, I'd have to go back to it once. <laughs> it was perception was uh, fourteen plus two, with five stun points. Okay, so what would you like to use those five stun points for? I was gonna get the bucket ready <laughs> in my hand. <laughs> okay, I'm going to treat that as an improvised shield, right? Which will give you plus one on your defense, which turns that into a miss. So that as the thing lunges forward, you kind of bat it away with the uh, the bucket instead. Clang. Okay, uh, so it is uh, Lizzie to go next. I'm going to run away. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Fair like, no, I'm hot enough. No, what the fuck is that? No. <laughs> okay, you're going to uh, run away. Let's, let's fix this jello mold now. Just move yourself to within your moving distance, and it will be Thomas to go next. Right, within this cupboard well, beside me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Over here. Yep. Would there be anything which would be any cleaning products, etc., like bleach, dead, or anything like that? Um, at that part of the building, yes, there would. Yeah. So could I grab? Welder. Use the welder. Why would I want to use the welder on something which is uh, get some chemicals on it, something caustic? Yeah. Not burn it. Did she write the eight colors? It was. That's the fact complex. Okay. So, none of you. So you start <laughs> rummaging through there and manage to grab yourself um, some. Do you want me to make a search roll, some sort of bleach or something? I, I'm not going to ask for a search roll for you because this is your. Um, Garage, you would know where you keep stuff. So you've grabbed some of the bleach that you uh, that you use for um, part of the uh, valet work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cleaning what products. Figure? So that's an active uh, activation. So that's a uh, and a search. Well, it's kind of opening a door, grabbing the stuff off the shelf. So you've got it, but that's your major action. You still have a minor action though, if you would like to take it. Um, I'd move up to the back corner of this car and uh, if I've seen this mm -hmm. going on, obviously, because mm -hmm. obviously I would think he would, would have shouted or something Yeah. at this point, I'm going to get ready to throw this if I need to, or yeah. spray it or shit. You know, it's like a, a bottle of Febreze or whatever. Yes. I don't know what it is, like spray squirty. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll be something for uh, use in Valentin of cars. It'll be something that you clean down the upholstery with. Upholstery cleaner, we'll call it. Um, okay, so it will be Adam to go next, and I am going to need a fear test from him. Um, okay. Ah, plant. <laughs> it's a green. What's the role for that? Um, it will, sorry, Power. yes, that's a very good point. Um, I'm playing the wrong game there for a moment. You need to give me a willpower, either uh, courage or um, self-discipline test. Um, 15. Wow, with a okay, six. That's, that's fine. Um, you're not accustomed to seeing any of these things as big as this or as aggressive as this, but you're pretty sure that you can hold it off with this bucket long enough for Thomas to uh, essentially dissolve it with the cleaning product. Well, it was something very specific that he... Um, that it didn't... Because if you said just plain bleach, ammonia doesn't kill... Um, mm mold and fungus it would yeah. if it but if you said it was a valet thing that means it's got an enzyme eater in it yes it has. it has yeah yeah that's the kind of thing i was looking for yeah things Absolutely. that kill like hair and stuff mm -hmm. Silly bang. Silly yeah. bang, yeah. okay bang so it actually, is actually, mm -hmm. actually um, so what i'm gonna do speaking as, speaking as the person with the degree in cell biology who's actually dealt with flexes do you know what the best thing is to dissolve one fire Aaron? nope Cheap wash, cheap washing up liquid. It eats through the, the cell wall. There you are. <laughs> That's a very good point. All right, bottle of fairy. Bottle of fairy liquid. Yeah, a bottle. Yeah. Actually, no, fairy's not that good. It's good. It's got too high a quality soap content. You get your smart price one. In America, uh, like... it's, it's um, one called Joy, and you just chuck that and that that. Smart price through. washing up liquid. Better washing well, up liquid. Then. Uh, no, really. it's not going to go to the side. Yeah, it's, it's not that it's better, it's the, it's the, the um... Uh, soap versus the, the whatever. Yeah. The caustic nature of the soap, the, qual the quantity of soap, 
as opposed to the additives they put in fairy because they put softeners and things in fairy. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. It's such that it's better to dissolve the the walls of the of things like slime molds. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, let me just. Um, I would like to. Get, I still have my action, don't. I? You, you do, just I'm struggling with this uh, thing that's not behaving the way it's supposed to. Just give me a second. Just stop struggling. There you go. Okay. I, I feel that. this is bad advice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, um, add turn. And that should go in. So, yes, Chris, sorry, go ahead. What would you like to do? Um, seeing as the shutter is not all the way up, I'm going to attempt to get inside. Okay. Make a dexterity uh, roll. So you're going to run across the corner where I am, effectively, and roll underneath it. Combat roll. Um, dexterity. Yeah, dexterity acrobatics roll, please. I got an eleven. Okay, uh, that is going to be enough. So you scramble underneath. The half-open shutters and move yourself over there. That's excellent. Okay, and that's the end of the combat. The so I'm just going to advance this. Yeah. Uh, right. So this is the thing that's oh, coming. That's pretty after cool. Yeah, okay. okay, so combat round two, and Rab looks up to see why Adams comes scrambling underneath the shutters, uh, clearly quite panicked, and why Thomas seems to be um, getting ready to squirt what looks like. Febreze at, at Adam. So you're kind of looking around going, what the fuck's going on? So Rab, what would you like to do? I'm going to take a, a wand of over and see if I can see what, what the deal is. Okay. So if you want to move yourself, I'll tell you when you can see it. There, you can see it. <laughs> okay, so what you can see is some kind of giant one metre high slug-like thing that seems to be chasing Adam. It's on the other side of the shutters. The shutters are mostly down, so he's had to duck under the scrabble in. Uh, and this thing's like tried to reach out. The pseudopods just extended out of the side of it. You have no idea what this is. Could I have a willpower uh, morale test or a willpower courage test for you, please? And that's an, a narrow fail, so add one to your fear. And that's you done for the round, because uh, that failure will cost you the rest of your actions. Next round, you'll be able to act normally, but you'll be at minus yeah. one for everything, which if you just put the fear in the correct box, it should handle it. So. Rab never acts um, normally, does he? Just trying to find where the fear box is. <laughs> ah, right, okay, I can activate it for you in case Oh, it's hold not. on. I'm probably looking in one of the wrong places. Yeah, if you have a look on the um, the black cog, uh, over on the right-hand side of the settings, there'll be a list of different boxes you can activate. Just uh, activate your fear box, and that'll yeah, put sure it on the, the fear section for you. Gotcha. That's the one. Okay, so, Joe, what would Joe like to do? He's going to do the you know very logical up, but thing. You can't say what it is yet. Uh, Sorry, well, he will move... Um, I'm, I'm, I'll do the fear test. Okay, I'll go for fail, it. Because my willpower is really bad. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, yeah, you filled, filled as well, so add one to your fear. So you've never seen a giant one metre log, sort of slimy, sluggy, mouldy thing coming at you before. And this doesn't look right to you. Jenny, errand to go, what would you like to do? Seeing all of what's going on, they've obviously seen something outside that's scaring them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, would I be able to make it over far enough so that we could pull the shutters down completely? You could always try. The control box for the shutters is here, where I'm pinging. Right, okay. My movement's 11, though, so I wouldn't okay. get there. So for 11, you can, with a movement of 11, with a speed of 11, you can move 11 <laughs> metres as a minor action. As a major action, you can dash, and that doubles, so it would become 22. Right, okay, I'll get over here. Okay, so your um, major action is to dash over. Your minor action will be um, to hammer the button. Clang! Yes. Here's the problem, though. Yeah. When she got to the corner, mm -hmm. did she see the thing? That's a very good point. 
go ahead and make a horror test. Because if, if you fail the horror you. test, you're going to stop at that corner, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. So make a fear test yeah. for me. That's your willpower and either courage or morale will do nicely. Oh, oh no! Okay, add one to your fear. <laughs> And also, God you can hear it. your dad and your brother, who's in one of the cars, but I forget which one. The blue one, I think. Blue uh, one. Screaming at you, stay yeah. back! Stay back! Don't go over there! Aaron, get in the car! Get in the car! Let's get out of here! Get in the car! <laughs> Everyone, everyone's just scared of this <laughs> little like, plot. <laughs> okay, meanwhile... That's because it's green. Why do you think people are scared of the Incredible Hulk? Uh, it's not because yes, he's so big. Green. It's not because he's muscular. It's because he's green. Meanwhile, <laughs> the jello mold is going to slime its way underneath here. Having a look around, yeah. it's now got multiple targets. And I'm not entirely <sighs> clear of which of the four of you is likely to go for. I'm going to say three, Rabbit's actually, closest. because Aaron's behind... Uh, sorry, Joe is behind Aaron. So... Should go for Rab because he's closest. I think it's the he? same distance as Aaron. Actually, let me just find and, and, out. And at this point, and at this point, the uh, what's it, meters, Ghostbusters by Ray Park Jr. comes on. With the, yeah. the rubber stuff right here. Uh, Aaron <laughs> does have partial cover because of the tire things. So and Adam's one Oops. meter further away. So yeah, I'm going to say it attacks uh, or attempts to attack Rab. So uh, Rab, what's uh, your Rab, defense? Use your split to. Burn it. <laughs> my, my defense says I'm Lost Region. <laughs> it wasn't me, Your Honor. <laughs> I didn't need it, man. It wasn't me. Okay, does a 14 uh, hit you? Defense 14, yep. Yeah. Okay, so it's only just hit you, actually. Uh, if you hadn't been um, quite so startled, maybe you should have got away with that. So it's, it kind of reaches out. And it manages to grab you by the wrist. This this kind of burning sensation. You take two points of um, impact uh, stun damage, actually. So you just lethal. take it's non-lethal damage. It's doing. No, because it wants to eat you. It doesn't want to like just murder you on the spot. It's going to stun no, you, it, knock you out. It it you. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so it is uh, Lizzie to go. What would she like to do? Okay, um, I'm <clears> going <throat> to run across the cars, mind. Uh -huh. I'm going to run for the fire extinguisher, the CO2 fire extinguisher. Right. Okay. You're going you're to do sort of a bonnet jump across the bonnet, slide across the bonnet. Yeah. <laughs> Give me um, a roll on uh, your. I do uh, parkour. Yeah. Give me a, a roll on your dexterity acrobatics. Because of your special talent, if you fail mm -hmm. the roll, you get to re-roll it. 14, you didn't fail the roll. You also get three stun points. So Lizzie comes running over, puts her hands on the bonnet of the first car, flips herself upright, lands on her feet between the two cars, puts her hands on the bonnet of the next one, flips herself like cartwheels over it, and lands right there. And just grabs the uh, fire extinguisher I'm out of it. Mm -hmm. so, I'll look at Aaron and just is that like, the outer move? That. That's your outer moves. Move the movement was your minor action. The getting the fire extinguisher was your major, or the other way around, actually, well, one or the other. Okay. Yep. So, uh, however, you did have three points mm -hmm. of dexterity stunts there. If you wanted to use those as, um, yeah, let's think now. If you wanted to use those stunts, use. Um, would they count as combat stunts where you can boost your initiative? I'm just wondering that, actually. Yeah, go on. Any combat stunt that doesn't directly attack an enemy, you can use it for. You can also pick from... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so general combat are basic melee stunts you can pick for, from. As long as it's not a one that would actually mm -hmm. require you to contact the opponent. But there are some that like boost initiative mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff. Okay. Because uh, if you boost your initiative above it, so you'll get to act before it does. Yeah. And a mm -hmm. minor move would get you up to it. Mm -hmm. And then you could squirt it with the fire extinction. If that was the plan. Yeah. I think that sounds... I was just having a look over the general stunts. Yeah. And I think that will be the plan. Okay, ben, the, other, the only other option would be would be if I could use them for to run and then hand the fire extinguisher to either Adam or Rab. 
that yes. small options. Yes, okay. I will allow that, right? Because from where you are, you're not close enough to hand it to them. You'd have to throw it to them, which would technically be an mm -hmm. action. It would be an attack. But because of your stunts, I'm going to allow you to do a lightning attack. So you've run, cartwheeled over the cars, grabbed the fire extinguisher and flung it to... Would you rather fling it at Adam or Rab? I'll fling it at Adam. Okay. <laughs> it's in really the back of the head. I really, really <laughs> hope that that nerd can catch things. Okay. So, uh, first of all, can I have oh, a... What? Um, accuracy <laughs> roll from Erin, please. Uh, sorry, from Elizabeth, please. Right, accuracy. Yeah. 18, so you're bang on target. You're, huh. you're bang. filling the thing straight towards uh, Adam's hands. Could I have a uh, dexterity... Um, hmm. Catching. Catching, it would technically be, but we don't have that, it's, so I'm going to ask does he have a sleight of hand. I don't have any dexterity subs, so... Okay, oh, right, just uh, dexterity then, please. Could, could, he not, could he not use his martial arts ability, like ah, fighting yes, or something, can. as a substitute? In the... You can, because you are a martial artist, aren't you? So, <laughs> make an accuracy brawling attack, uh, action, or... Accuracy yeah. brawling. I don't use brawling. I'm not that sort of fighter. Um, uh, okay, so what's your normal combat style? What's your... I use staffs, and I do have a staff on me. I could try and clip the end of... Oh, God, that would be a high roll. I'd have to try and clip yeah, the... You just, uh, you just want to catch it, really. So. <laughs> With just my stick. Just, just catch it, but not in the face. <laughs> yes. That, that's yeah. the thing. If you don't catch it, it's going to hit you. So uh, just catch make it... Catch it in the make, mouth. Oh. Yeah, make an that accuracy... Rolling a uh, roll or a dexterity roll, whichever's the highest. Oh, which oh, my high a dexterity was higher in terms uh, of number. Okay, uh, so as <laughs> as Lizzie goes, Adam catch and flings this thing at you. You bring your hands up and it passes straight between your hands and clunk hits you in the head. Um, <laughs> my hands are higher than my head. Marie, oh, what okay. is um, your strength? My strength. Uh, okay. Um, hold on, just bringing this up. Yep. <sighs> two. Sorry. Yep, two. Oh dear. Right, My okay. strength is two. So, give me a, a damage roll. That's 1d3 plus two stun damage. Impact, if you want. At least it's only stun. You're not going to die. Damage, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you managed to accidentally clock Adam in the head with this fire extinguisher. Uh, Adam Don't takes. That near, can he catch things? Yeah. Adam takes five points of health damage. He, he, he took it. He took it. Got it on his face. face. Yeah. Right. Look, we're all archetypes. We've got, we've got like the Ned. We've got the Ned. Right. <laughs> so, Chris, have you taken the damage? Um, okay. You take toughness off, though, don't you? Oh, sorry, yes, yeah. reduce it by your toughness. Yeah. All right, yeah. Well, my toughness is two. So you only take three damage and not five. Yeah, still pretty nasty. It's still fairly nasty, so you take that three points of damage and I'll move on to uh, Sean. It's Thomas to Right. Um, while all this is going on, can I sort of like leap across there and shoot the squirt, whatever, throw at? Yes. Here, do I need to make a fear test to be able to do this? You, did you make one last round? No, I didn't make one at all. In that case, so you need far. to make one this round, yes. Something weird just happened. My computer seemed to reset the browser and it's oh. closed my character sheet. All right, okay. Uh, there was a, definitely a part where I heard myself echoing. Ah, yes, I heard yeah. that as well. It did come through. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll give you a couple of moments to get everything back yeah, up. Yeah, I'm just getting all of that up. Um, willpower test, was it? Yes. Uh, willpower, either morale or courage will do nicely. Yeah, I don't have either of those. Okay, so just uh, nine, nine is a failure. So that's one point of fear, and that's your action for the round comes to an end. A plant is literally paralysing everyone with fear. Uh, <laughs> not me. 
So it is uh, Adam to you to go next. What would so, you like um, to do? Would, um, would I know what fire extinguisher this is? It's a CO2. Yeah. CO2. It's one of those you pull the pin, you hit the black uh, or the knob on it, and you point the hose at the uh, target and. Yeah. Shh. yeah. A lot of extremely cold, sort of powdery, gaseous stuff yeah. comes squirting out. Right, because you're actually going to hit that actual mould with cold. Yes. Mould with the cold. And I'm sure hitting a plant with car oxygen or carbon would help, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, um, kind of technically this is me metagaming, because I know in real life you can freeze a slime mould like this, but yes. my character would just have looked about and gone, oh, a fire extinguisher, that'll do. Aye. <laughs> she was actually <laughs> expecting Adam would just hit it with a fire extinguisher because it's something heavy, right? Adam, yeah, I'll have. Adam, on the other hand, um, you know that the fire extinguisher discharges the CO2 at a very low temperature. And actually, these things, if they have any similarity to Earth's slime molds, would react extremely poorly to cold temperatures. So this is actually quite a good weapon. I'm, yeah, I'm going to um, pull. The, I'm going to pick it up. Pull mm -hmm. um, after being dizzied and pull the um, pull the clip. Okay. And then I'm going to spray it. So you decide what's, what's minor out of that and what's major. I would say minor would be spraying it and major would be all the other stuff because it got clocked over the head. Uh, <laughs> other, way, other way around because any form of attack that's going to require you to roll to see if you've oh, harmed something okay. else is considered a major action. So Whereas movement is usually considered a minor action no worries, unless no you're doing an awful lot of it. So I'm going to yeah, pick it up uh, and then I'm going to spray it. Okay, so you I grab it a... and spin round. You pull out the the pin and okay make a uh to missile attacks it's going to be accuracy um do you have any accuracy focuses and i'll see if i can you don't right just straight accuracy will be fine then please i have a question just a yeah. second till we've done this bit and then i'll answer your question uh that's 13 i think that's going to be a hit and it's be a hit with three points stunts as well if it is a hit it is a hit and with nice. three points of stunts how would you like to use them while you're looking up the stunts and deciding, I'll answer Ben's question. Ben, what was your Could question? It be firearms. So you said yes. it uh, reacts poorly to the cold. Mm -hmm. Is it, uh, it? It's late, obviously, in Newcastle. What is the season? Or what? The, what's the month? Uh, well, it's kind of early summer. It's, it's not that cold in Newcastle. It's not yeah, really cold okay. enough to worry it. So I was thinking uh, if sorry. it was winter, it might be in the negatives, which it might not like. But... Yeah, if it was winter, there'd have been snow on the ground and I mentioned it sooner. But you're right, in winter, this thing's going to suffer. Okay, so Chris, uh, you can use firearms or general combat stunts. Go well, on, do bonus damage to it. Attack again. How many points have I got? Three. Three, Three stunt points to use. Can he actually do I'm going to use lightning attack and then use the canister to go and whack, um, splat. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, well, it's, it's a spray thing, and I know that the uh, brute force won't do much to it. It'll just separate Yeah, you can it spray it together. twice, though, for additional damage if you want yeah, to. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. That, that means make another, another attack roll. Uh, sorry, yes, an, an additional attack roll. So your first attack is going to do... Uh, let me just look this up. Uh, it acts against the creature as if it was a handgun. So, 2d6 plus 1 damage, please. Damn. They really don't react well to this, uh, this at all. Okay, so that's 8 points of damage. Uh, it's toughness um, doesn't count against the cold. So that's 8 penetrating damage and there's lethal damage to this thing as well so your first spray you can see the thing slowing down you can see the the sort of slimy outer coating starts to almost crystallize and before it can warm itself up again you push it again roll another attack that was here. that's a miss unfortunately with the second one but never mind, you've done quite a bit of damage to Guess it. Yes, there wasn't quite enough spray in the in the canister. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you just kind of you've accidentally sprayed Rab uh, with the second one in the, the sort no. of confusion. Um, but uh, it's 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 early spring, there might be some de-icer in the garage. Not, by the not way. early spring. 
early summer. Early summer. Early summer. There'll like still definitely be some de-icer in the garage because you'd keep it in stock for when you need it. So it's going to be our happen. strongest liquid to use. So it is the uh, next combat round. I'll just advance that token one, and it is Rab to go. What would Rab like to do? Is this cloud of CO two? <laughs> Is it still got a hold of my vest? Uh, yes, it has. If you've ever seen the original film of the Blob, it's kind of trying to slime up your arm exactly like the Blob did in the film. If if he was to use a lighter on it, uh, his yeah, his arm would be yeah. in there for a start. <laughs> no, but I would, uh, between like my vest and it. Well, these things don't react well to extremes of temperature, so it's not just cold. The light, it could probably do with some damage as well, yes. Yeah, I'm going to try that. Okay. Make a uh, brawling attack, please. So that would be uh, accuracy brawling. And that's a hit. It's only just a hit, but it's a hit, and it qualifies for four points of stunts. Yay. Four please. points a... One, yeah, bugger. <laughs> uh, what would that be under for stunts? General combat? Uh, general combat or basic melee stunts? Uh, two seconds, well, I'll just have a quick look over the stunts. What time is it, by the way? Could it uh, technically currently, it's around two in the morning. Oh, you mean in real time? No. Game time is two in the morning. Game time. Aha, yeah. right. uh -huh. can, can I mix and match? Yes, you can. Right, from the... Where's it gone? General combat stunts. Mm -hmm. I want to use Vicious Blow for an extra D6 of damage. Okay. And from basic melee, I'm going to use Disarm. Because I'm assuming it's Pseudopod as its weapon. Yes, it can grow another one, but if you were to disarm the one that's actually got a hold of you, it would no longer mm -hmm. be grappling. So that's quite a good idea. Okay, so... Uh, the disarm, is, it's not automatic, is it? There's a competition of rolls, I believe. Uh, opposed melee attack rolls. Okay. So uh, let's let's deal with the damage first, and then we'll do that. So you would normally have done 1d6 plus 2 fire damage to it with a lighter. So you did a, um, extra dice of damage, so it's 2d6 yep. plus 2. One of them double flame ones. Seven points of damage. He's got it uh, turned right up, so like he lights it. He's like, yeah, I moved the little thing to get the flame as big as possible. Possible, yeah. Okay, this is also penetrating because again, it's an extreme. It's, it's also not attack. my lighter's default setting, honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you've flamed it. You've done seven points of damage to it. Now let's see if you can disarm it. So the disarm attack is your melee versus its melee, and whoever wins. Would that be accuracy again, or uh, fighting? It or would be... I've got fighting as well. You can use fighting this time if that's high, yeah, yes? Yes, it is. Use that. Get it, wouldn't you? <laughs> okay, 19. That's uh, going to be tricky Jesus. for me to beat, I think. But uh, I will just try if I can get this to open up. There you go. Uh, so fighting, brawling... Uh, that's odd, because Roland should be under accuracy normally. Ooh. Oh, it did a goodie, but it didn't do a goodie enoughy. So, you managed to burn right through the back of the pseudopod <laughs> and it just pops off. So you've got this blob of uh, slime on your arm now. Um, and In the other... Movement still... be a major action? Uh, that would have been a major action. A minor, sorry. Um, well, the attack would have been a major action. Yeah. But can I still move? Oh, yeah, you can still move, I. Do I know where this welder is? Uh, Sean, where did you leave the wel welder and does Rab know? It's in the car and it's locked. It's in the car it, and the it's locked. Wel the, wel the welder's actually locked. Right. You can't You can't just put it on. Yeah. It's got security lock on it. Okay. Nah. Right, well, I'm going to move out of the way anyway. Closer towards the comfort of the petrol bombs. <laughs> The comfort of the pet. Uh, I would, I would suggest getting the slime off here. Oh no, there's, there's another thing up here. Uh, wait a minute, I'm just, I'm just handling that. So that was, uh, it, that's become. Has it split? A, it has split. That's become oh. a small oh, one. So no. that's a half I'm going to try and get it off while I'm moving. Okay. So, 
and I'm going to do a carry token and carry above and that's line rolled and I'll just move around and then back oh, so I consumed throughout okay so it's currently like sliming up your arm so next round you'll be able to try and take that off it's a much smaller segment than the uh, previous one so it'll have much lower hit points as well what wash comes to the wash I could just take my top off um yes <laughs> quite possibly um okay so it's joe to go what would joe like to do <laughs> oh. <laughs> he takes his top off top off and everyone's blinded by the white <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah mate that's racist <laughs> uh i don't i don't have anything i can really do i mean i can shoot it with a bow but i you could try. Uh, I guess so. Bear in mind, it's slightly more solid. The main one's slightly more solid at the moment because it's just been frozen with the CO2 blast. You could hit it with your handbag. So uh, you've you got about it. one combat round before <laughs> it uh, thaws out a bit. So right now, I'll, it's vulnerable I'll to physical it. attacks. I'll shoot it with a ball then, I suppose. Okay. I haven't used my ball uh, yet. I, I, yeah. Go for it. Make an attack. Well, I don't have anything else I can do, Sean. Yeah. So go for it. Go for it. Is it an accuracy? Uh, yeah. Yes, it'll be an accuracy bow's attack. So you've got the, the bow focus. Really? Okay. Oh, well, I've missed. Uh, cool. You have very narrowly missed, so it's... Th Wait, I would get aim. I would get aim. Uh, I moved. Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah. So I've narrowly hit. <laughs> yes, you've narrowly hit. So go ahead and roll the damage. Question. I've currently got 1d6 plus 2 uh, damage. Mm -hmm. Do I get any bonuses from any of my stats, like from accuracy or from perception? Perception. Perception. You so your perception I have a back. 1, so it would be 1d6 plus 3, or 1d6 plus 2 plus 1. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Only four damage, but I mean it is ballistic. Four da four ballistic damage. Uh, that's a point. It is ballistic. Shit. Yes. Okay. So it's toughness. Uh, it's toughness counts, but it's armor wouldn't. It doesn't have any anyway, so it doesn't matter. So you get three points of damage through as you shoot into Not it, much. where it's uh, slightly frozen. You see little bits of it shatter off just off the surface and hit the ground. These are far too small to reconstitute into a separate creature like the bit on Rab's arm did. So that's permanently damaged yep. it. Um, Good. It is uh, Erin to go. What would you like to do? Okay. Well, probably in a panic, she would just try and hit it with the hammer that she's got. <laughs> okay. Roll to hit. Okay. So it'll be great because if you kill it, it with a hammer... <laughs> it's going to be great, because if you kill it with a hammer, you're going to split it into multiple things from the splatter. <laughs> I can hardly... Go ahead, go on, go on. <laughs> I only rolled a ten, so... You it. would get him. You would get him. Oh, yeah, you could you get haven't him. Moved. You could get him. Yeah, so that would be eleven, that would be a hit. <laughs> oh, God. Right, okay, okay. So if you want it to be. If you, yeah, go ahead and do the damage. Because you could move away. If you take your minor action as movement, but uh, so that's, hey, that, one damage. So that's one point of damage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hit it with a hammer. It's toughness. You, just, you hit it with a hammer, and it's just like hitting uh, jelly with a toffee hammer. It just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say I'll screw this right, and I'm going to move back up over here. Right, but if you if, but no, but if you aimed, you can't do that. Ah, that's right, yes. I didn't... She does one stun oh, point. Oh, damn it. Yeah. You either didn't, didn't hit it or you moved. You do yeah. have one stun yeah. point. Yeah. You, could, uh, you could... Ah, one, point, one stun point. Can you not... Um, uh, what do you call it yourself? You could skirmish um, yourself with one skirmish stun point. Skirmish yourself away two, two metres. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, oh, so skirmish like... yourself away two metres if you want to. That's, uh, that's one. That's one. You can still do another one, yeah. That's one. Yeah, just a sec. There, aye. Excellent. So you've hiding behind Joe, essentially, is what you're doing there. Yes. <laughs> he's, he's a big, tough man, so he said. Yeah, Joe, uh, Joe sees this thing kind of... I can't say look at him because it has no eyes or sensory organs that you would recognise, but it slimes its way towards him. 
Um, much as much as Joe has done to various women in bars over the years. <laughs> He's, it's still coming back to him, flashing before his yes. eyes. Now you know how they feel as it slimes its way my, forward. My... Sorry, go ahead. Go on, Marie. No, sorry, I was just going to tell everyone my best political, my best ever political insult was I described one of these slime molds and mm. said that it forms a grec. Shit. Which is, you know, an aggregate that yeah. it's like a slime, like a slate snail. And it's um, um, and that's Michael Gove, that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's 14. That's hit, Ben. So it's reached out and it's done the same thing. It's kind of enveloped part of you. So, again, if you've ever yeah. seen the original 1950s The Blob, you've got kind of that slimy, gelatinous thing starting to form up around your legs. And let's see how much damage it did. This is crushing uh, damage, but it's stun, not wound. So it um, won't kill you. If you run out of hit points as a result of it, you'll just, you will survive. It's funny really how this tiny thing is doing more damage than the big, massive things. Uh, oh, totally absolutely. This is the thing with the other verses. Mm -hmm. Size doesn't necessarily give you an idea of exactly how dangerous something is. That's four mm. points of stun damage, please. So four points my off your health. Toughness, my your... toughness is three. So in that case, only one, one point gets through because your toughness applies against stun damage. Yeah. And that's its attack, so it is uh, Lizzie to go next. Right. I'm going to... There was more than one uh, carbon, carbon dioxide. There was one in each there. of the two fire cabinets, yes. Right, so I'll grab the other one. And hit Adam with it again. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm going to grab the other one, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to run towards everyone. Okay. So move yourself to where you'd like to move to. So grabbing it's a minor action, moving it's a minor action. So you've got two minor actions you've used. So unfortunately, once you're where you want to be, mm -hmm. that's you done. What do you think the form extinguisher would do to us? Uh, probably not much, because they're more or less room temperature. It would just uh, cover it up in the, in the form. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to run over to here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to... Because I've got another minor action with handing no. the extinguisher to... Yeah, you haven't. Picking it up Thomas. as a minor action and moving as a minor action. Right. Yes. In any moving round, you get one action. major and one minor mm -hmm. action. But if you use two minors, you don't... Yeah. The major doesn't split mm -hmm. in two. It just, unfortunately, you, you've used... That's fine. Actions. That's okay. So, Thomas to go. What are you like to do? That's fine. Ow. Space brain. That was a delayed reaction, wasn't it? It was, rather, uh, yeah. Got hit by the slime mold, and then uh, right. So uh, basically, don't know what that noise was. But... I think that was Jenny's mic. Static again. on the radio. Yeah, we'll call it static on the radio. Uh, right. okay. Yeah, your your mic's going ballistic at the moment, Jenny. Some somebody rustling Chris Pack. Is this? I haven't it's done anything. It's stop right. now. Uh. Okay, so um, what do I need to roll to dump the stuff on the uh, thing? Okay, um, that would be an accuracy-based attack. Accuracy-based attack. Wish me luck. Here we go. Triple six. Good luck. Eleven or better to hit. Thirteen. That's a hit. So you uh, you you twist the little nozzle and like squish 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 squish, squish all over it, just <laughs> like you were cleaning the bath. Just give it a good spread. Well, actually, actually, probably the uh, gun mode. Where it's the stream rather than the uh, um, the foam. Well, e they have those twisty noddles. Either yeah, way, anyway. you've done one d six plus two damage to it. Right. Damn. Okay, that's quite a lot. Mm. Do I get anything for? Uh, no. Yeah, perception. Normally, you would get a. Ah, oh, no, you get a perception bonus. Yes, go ahead. Oh, are you really sure you want me to do that? Yep, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. It's a D6, you said? D6 plus two. Yeah, plus my perception. Yeah. Okay. That's literally the same damage as my ball. So, <laughs> as you sploosh it with your, uh, your spray, you see it hits it, and you can actually see the cell walls just... Cells, Shift shields cells are actually too small, but you get the effect because the the popping in large numbers, the entire area. So it just looks like the thing is dissolving, because it kind of is. Um, Good. 
And from this gelatinous mess, it turns into an entirely different kind of now inert gelatinous mess. Just dissolves onto a puddle on the ground. So you've only got the one left that's attached to uh, Rab now, which is a fraction of the size of the original. Um, also, I've just realized... So I'm guessing it's right. no longer grabbing me. <laughs> okay, so it's Adam to go next. What would Adam like to do? Um, Get a sample. <laughs> what's the range on this the fire extinguisher? Uh, it's about four metres. Okay. I'm even here while grabbing the fire extinguisher off yep. Lizzie. Mm-hmm. And I'll spray wrap. Okay, so moving as one and grabbing the... Don't you already have a fire extinguisher? It's yeah. empty, isn't it? No. no. Oh, no. no, you've got loads of yeah. use in it. Yeah, if you've only used it twice, that's less than the 30 seconds worth of If spray. I grab the second one, would it give me twice the chance? <laughs> uh, no, but it would, <laughs> make, it would use a second minor action, so you wouldn't have a chance to attack. Oh, okay, round. then. I would have moved a little bit closer then without yeah. getting the one off her, and then I'm going to try to... Right, okay. So you right. charge it uh, uh, at Rab, essentially, and open the muzzle of the fire extinguisher again. <laughs> Make an attack. What are you doing? <laughs> Just chill. Chill. <laughs> the 12. The 4 stun. You've hit it. It'll, it'll be cool. Go ahead and roll the damage, which is 1d um, 6 plus 2. Do, do more damage with your stunt. Yes, you've got four uh, points of stunts as well, so you can use whatever you want to use. Uh, I couldn't let me see, let me see, let me see. Mm, mm, mm. Suppressing so fire. Two Suppressing. would do an additional two, 1d6, and then. Rapid reload. <laughs> Spray and pray. Um, oh, I don't know. It's, ju it's just a small one. I think the extra D6 might kill it. Mm -hmm. it is yeah, it's very small. I, 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 okay, I'll just do that. Then. Right. 2D6 plus 1, is it? Yes. Right. Plus your perception. Plus your perception, yes. Oh, oh that's an additional 1 to that, then. Okay. So that's seven. 7 points of damage you've done to it. Uh, and it doesn't get to use its um, toughness against that. Okay, so that's uh, seven straight through. So you can see it starts to wither on Rab's arm. It's shrunk back to a fraction of the size. There are crystalline bits of it dropping off and shattering when they hit the concrete ground. So you've reduced this in size considerably, and the bits that have shattered and broken off are too small to reconstitute. Um, so it is combat round four. I will just advance the combat, combat. thingy, and it is rab to go. What would you like to do? Uh, so is it off me completely? It's not off you completely. Some of it's still on the sleeve of your top. All right. Um, now it's time for the strategic tactical. Lighting of the joint and then stubbing it out on it. Cool, yeah, okay. You light your joint. Take an inhale. And, and, then, the, and the garage full of petrol fumes. In a garage full hell. of petrol fumes, not that far um, from the petrol bombs you were making earlier. And um, <laughs> with, with 15 points in the complications pool. And, um, <laughs> oh, don't save that. Awesome. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, make an attack to stub oh, the thing out, first of all. They'll see the, they'll see the explosion for out of bloody space. <laughs> <laughs> You've hit. You see me in outer space as I go flying past them. Oh, I didn't realise I could have used fight. Oh, wait, never mind. So that is... Uh, let me just see. That's 1d6 plus 2 damage. Do I get the stun points? And 3 stun points. Absolutely, you do. Do more damage. <laughs> and then we're going to have to roll to see if the um, complication pool activates. If it does, you're going to cause the petrol fumes to go up. <laughs> oh, no. 
I sprayed him though, so it is that. You did. It did actually, and it yeah. is actually only a minor uh, complication at this point. So yeah, well, I'm going to use the vicious blow for the extra D6. Okay, uh, nice. And I'm going to use one point in parry. Okay, go for it. Yeah. Okay, so roll the damage first, including the additional damage. So as you inhale, you then stub it out on the creature, you then grind it right in and keep stubbing it and grinding it and stubbing it and grinding it. You can sense the smell of burning. You can hear other people yelling something at you in that annoying English accent that uh, <laughs> <laughs> that these people have. Um, it takes you a while to realise that they're yelling about petrol fumes. Um and it suddenly I'm on it soft. I know what the petrol is. <laughs> okay, so you have killed the creature. You've completely incinerated it till it just slides off and on the ground. Roll me a d6 if you would be so kind, please, and let's see if the complications activate. What if there's a complication with me rolling a d6? <laughs> That's a four. Um, this was the first time this has happened, and I've forgotten. Um, which way around this is? Is that nothing happens, or is that? No, that means the whole place blows up. I think it couldn't be the whole place blows up because that would be a major complication, and not a minor complication. <laughs> and uh, can so we all can we all just rap rap blows up? <laughs> Rab's staying out through the roof, and as he's going mm -hmm. up, somebody's fallen out of plane coming the other way. Okay, so we have a minor <laughs> complication. <laughs> Um, yeah, no. Which means you've just burned 10 points out of your complication pool. So that's reduced the risk of a major event. However, there has been a sudden flash explosion on some of the uh, the petrol fumes. Unfortunately, Rab's top is covered in petrol fumes because he's been fucking about with petrol since he got here. <laughs> and he was so in the oily bins. He was in the oily bins and he's wearing sports gear, which is not renowned for being the most flame retardant thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've stubbed your, your thing out but then like, as you're going as you're kind of showing off to everybody else, you pump your chest up you just hear Poof. <laughs> and as you look down you realise you've, you've lit yourself on fire <laughs> so, Rab, Rab takes two points of damage but he can reduce that by his toughness <laughs> But he is on fire, so I'm just going to. Um... Yeah, uh, I've got a toughness in 9,000 because I'm fit the weech. <laughs> right. Well, both Adam and I have um, fire extinguishers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, could you both open up with your fire extinguishers at him, please? You only have to beat his uh, defence. He's not actively trying to defend, but he is like madly flapping at these sportswear, which has got fire. So what am I using? Uh, accuracy. 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 Yeah. Thirteen. That's a hit. And you. And sixteen. <laughs> that's also a hit. So the pair of you just open up with <laughs> with the fire <laughs> extinguisher, and uh, within a moment, Rab's no longer on fire. But he's covered in kind of possibly... yellow powder and a very badly burned sports jacket. Would this, this possibly have given us a moment to... Laugh, yes. Laugh. And <laughs> to, get to, know, yeah, to get to know each other a bit more. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you're all not really meaning to, but just the sheer ridiculousness of it. Uh, you're all kind of bonding over that and there's just this um, this kind of semi-hysterical laughter from all of you. Okay, yeah. I'm going I'm to gonna, go I'm gonna say something to Rab once I'm through the fire suit. Mm -hmm. You're a fucking diddy, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only like, at least we stopped it, didn't we? <laughs> right, I'm yeah. going to go to the bathroom for a quick bathroom break. You guys plan what your next um, action's going to be now that you've dealt with the threat. <laughs> I'm going to leave your vocals out to the uh, recording, so just bear that in mind. Right. I'll be back in a couple of months. Okay. I'll probably I'm... ask people to, I'll tell them what it is, and I'll ask them to move the ones that are not. The, um, this man of war that's left, and throw it in the fire over, over 
you know, we're in. So we'll get, a, we'll get a broom or something and sweep that across the car yeah, park and whatever's left get, of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, any right. coveralls or anything as well, but if you um, put them on to move it and then fling them on the fire once you're done. Will we have a fire blanket? Uh, well, I put the other fire out with the fire blankets. There's already a fire blanket out there. Yeah. I'm got if you have need a new track kit up, by the way. Right. <laughs> and, um... this, this would be a good point for Joe to tell Rab that actually there's a sports direct he just broke into and he can probably go and get all the sports where he wants. That is true. <laughs> and I'll ask Sean if there's any more Febreze and uh, the ices yeah. or anything around. Yeah, there's definitely stuff like that within the place. And we can all take one I if brought, there's enough. I brought some armor back, but uh, it's just kind of in a bag sitting by itself. Yeah, well, I think I'll be visiting that sports bit. direct to get some new track suits and Blame baseball yourself up bats a and a baseball bat. Yeah. Should we take whatever. one of the overalls for now? <laughs> uh, there's, there's probably some gear kicking about the garage so that you wouldn't be like walking about topless. Because I imagine that's a sight none of us want to uh, How's the sun going? I was going to say. Two <laughs> <Here> a.m. <laughs> <laughs> there might be some clothes in the back of my parents' car. Anything will be better um, than seeing him without his chopper. There'll, there'll be some uh, overalls. I'm not <laughs> wearing knee hangs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a look in the car to see if there's any t-shirts. Yeah, no, yeah. There'll, there'll, there'll be there'll be some t-shirts in the office. I'll I'll take spare. Them. Yeah, I'll grab one of them. Okay. It says I'm with stupid on it. It's got an arrow. Yeah. <laughs> it's likely, more likely, I. We were going to sweep all, put on an overall. Somebody mm -hmm. was going to put on an overall, sweep all the remains into the fire that's still burning. Right. And then burn the overall. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you, as quickly as possible, sweep all the remains. Um, Aaron, your dad's like trying to pull you back, going, come away from that, you don't know what it'll do next, these things are dangerous, what the hell was that? What's going on? I'm like, oh, <laughs> it'll be fine, Dad, just stay in the car. It'll be fine, we've we'll just been attacked by a giant slug and a manta ray that was humping a squid. And with the help of, <laughs> with the help of uh, Thomas, I'm going to be getting as, as many um, like the ices and Febrezes and stuff from the garage to... Divvy okay. out. All the cleaning kit that we've got. Okay. And the so other fire extinguishers. Well, see, well, that's the, you've got. There was only two fire extinguishers. There was one in each fire cabinet. Um, so you've got two fire extinguishers that are both half empty. So uh, I think we'd have a third one, but not in the office. You will have a third one in the office, actually. Yes. So you've got two fire extinguishers that are half empty, and you've got a full fire extinguisher. Uh, Disseminate those between the rest of the group as you as you see fit. You have Should two probably, fire uh, blankets as well. There pro there might be fire extinguishers in the car if you carry them around like mini ones. But I was uh, I was thinking we should probably get to heal and everyone as well. Heal took damage. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's get clean. <coughs> let's clean the place up first of all. Get rid of this green crap. Right. Let's give it a good hosing before we actually brush it out okay. and then sweep the whole lot into the fire outside. So you sweep everything, you clean it all down, you sweep it into the fire. Um, by now the fire's starting to burn out because although it's a petrol bomb, it's still only got a limited amount of fuel. Um, you sweep the remains of these things into the, into the slime mold. Chris, are you taking any samples? Um, I took a sample of the acid last game uh, off one of them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, and I'm guessing there might be some residue left of this um, fungus. Okay, make a note that you have a jello mold um, <coughs> sample. Okay. And as you destroy the rest, I'm going to say you then take a few moments to kind of catch your breath, have a bit of a drink of water, mop yourselves down a bit, try to think what your next move's going to be. That's the equivalent of a uh, breather. So if you have a look under the rules section, you will notice that the um, there should be a section on healing. One of the options is breather. <clears throat> Those of you familiar with the age uh, rules already know about these breathers anyway. Um, 
Where, so where is he this? Healing and recovery. Rolls. All I see is stunts and conviction. There you go. Healing and recovery. I've just popped it up on the screen for you. Make it easier. Uh, so you can take a breather. Each of you gets back five plus your constitution plus your level in health. I already lost a hit point. Be back to full. Okay. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Uh, yeah, we'll get the um, some of these cleaners. Um. Right, yeah. Make a note as well you, that you've got um, two bottles of um, upholstery cleaner. Okay. Most of the creatures you encounter are probably not going to be much bothered about upholstery cleaner, but they are quite uh, deadly to those jello molds. It's only temporary until I can get to my work. Mm hmm yeah, the other, the other thing would be if you could squirt them in the eyes. Yes, you could squirt them in the eyes, yeah. and that would be quite nasty. Do we lose any fear points? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet, you don't, I'm afraid. Uh, not for a okay. short, what, what would essentially other be Other than that, I would probably suggest seven. that we get somewhere safer. Yeah. I'm just going to take the headset off and undo the knot in the cable, just a second. Who said they had a sister up the road? Me. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Isn't she on our way with the chainsaw? <laughs> no, no, we were going to, I tell her to stay put, we were going to pack her up. Ah, yeah. right, okay. So find somewhere to lay low for a week or so. <clears throat> Darling, we should go live on a farm. So, so you know about farming, do you? Mm. Right, sorry about that. Okay, so you know that Lizzie's... We have a plant biologist with us. We do, yes. <laughs> you know yeah, that no Lizzie's problem. sister's Sorry. just round the corner, so I think that was going to be your next move. Um, but Cars are ready. It's entirely right. Where... No, 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 no. So, <laughs> what are we doing at this point? Right? Because going and picking her up is going like a couple hundred metres down the road. Well, it's not quite that far. Yeah. Yeah, it's sort of around the corner. It's about... Uh... I was suggesting yeah. we go... I, and then we're going to go, nice then we're gonna go to the Winchester and we're going to have a nice cold <laughs> pint and we're going to wait for it to blow over. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Well, so far the instructions that you heard on the uh, news earlier were to um, remain indoors and don't talk about the event. Uh, don't touch the walls. Don't touch the walls. Yeah, well, that's not going to happen. Um, right, well, I think we should pick up friends, family, gear and stuff, and then, I mean, I personally, can I actually see if I can get through, ow. like, text any of my work colleagues to see yes. how they're doing, yep. if anything's happening over where they are? Yeah, absolutely. You can give that a try. You need to be 13 to get through on a, a mobile because of the okay. um, sheer overburdening of the network at the okay. moment. Um, however, so you may add your communications, because I'm feeling nice uh, and generous. There is the uh, phone in the office. There is the phone in the office point. as well, yeah. And there's, there's also the internet in the office. Uh, yes, and there is. That's a It'll good be on point. The Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. It's not on the Wi-Fi, it's hardwired no. in. It's hardwired oh. yeah. Okay, so you have uh, failed to get through so you're still getting that the network is currently unavailable message. Okay, well, I'll go and try with the, the landline. Do okay. I have another reply from Dr. Lindsay? Um, yes, you will. I'll just deal with, uh, with yeah. Jenny first and then I'll come back <coughs> to you. Um, okay, so make another rule, Jenny. This time you're targeting, actually, you're not con contact. Who are you ringing exactly? Um... One, at least one of my colleagues who I know would have been on shift whilst this was happening. So are you ringing see. them mobile is the point? Uh, well, I'd probably try mobile, but I'd also try uh, any landline number that Well, if you know they're on available. shift, you know they're at the, uh, the station, so you need to try the station number. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So you'll get through on that. There's not a huge number of people contacting the Coast Guard at the moment. Um, your number obviously isn't recognised as you, so you get quite a, a sort of terse uh, answer as somebody picks up the, the landline and says, Coast Guard. Well, it's me, Erin. Fucking hell, Erin. What's going on? 
I have no idea, but something really messed up's happening. Um, well, thank, uh, how, how... thanks for enlightening me. That's really been helpful. <laughs> <laughs> what? How are you doing? What's been happening over there? It's absolutely crazy over here with all the calls we're getting. We have um, multiple ships at sea are in distress. We have a um. Um, North Sea oil rig is... Um, uh, is in touch to say that they're also experiencing distress. We have multiple uh, warnings of extreme waves and bad weather heading at us that just was not predicted. It's just come out of nowhere. Right. The Royal Air Force have grounded all um, air uh, transport, so okay. there's not a great deal we can we can do. We can't get the helicopter in oh. the air. Um, we've got. We've got some ships trying. We've got some vessels trying to head out there, but we just don't have enough people to cover all the the ships that are in distress. And as he says that, not long after he said about the Royal Air Force have um, grounded all the shit, all the aircraft, you can hear the sound of helicopters going overhead. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, um, what are you gonna say? <laughs> about what? <laughs> What was that then? I've no idea, but it's not ours. We're grounded. The police are grounded. The uh, all um, civilian aircraft are grounded. So that's got to be military. Yeah, it must be. Uh, I mean, in the background, behind them, you hear. Oh. And then you hear it again. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on? You're not sure, but you hear a lot of shouts and yells from his end as well, like behind him. Oh shit! Right, make so he's he's okay. Make a perception here and roll. Right. I know what it is. <laughs> okay. okay, behind him you can Ooh, hear people okay. yelling. They're shooting at something out there. They're shooting at something in the sea. Oh shit! Oh no. <laughs> okay. Uh, is he still on the line? Yes, he's still on the line. <clears throat> oh, I couldn't hear you there. I don't. I have couldn't no idea what's there. happening. The, the the somebody's shooting at something out the sea. I'm gonna have to go. Is there anything you need before I go? <sighs> I'll say, I think you need to get you need to get your families together and get out of there, get somewhere safe, and I'll just hang up. Right. You hang up. Chris, what was it you were asking me? I'm calling um, my bo um, boss. Uh, <laughs> well, well, I nice. did message him before, and he says, what was that? And I said, replied to him with some kind of fungus. It's off these weird-looking... Mm -hmm. You've got, a message, yeah. you've got a message back from them that says that looks <laughs> that looks like a Greg. That looks like a what? A Greg, which you know it is. <laughs> okay. Looks like, is it? What, what it looks like. <laughs> does it, does he know anything about what's going on? Seeing doesn't, as, um... doesn't really know what's going on. He's at home watching the television, all the channels are down. Uh, well, well, not all the channels are down, but a time, lot of them no. have been broken into by, um, uh, I know, not at two in the morning, it wasn't. <coughs> Lucas. <laughs> okay, I'll ask him who's on shift at the moment, because laboratories don't close uh, like at night. Uh, some do, I mean, unless they've got something particularly important and time pressured to do. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, um, okay. Uh, okay, I guess he doesn't have enough information for me then. Um... It doesn't appear to have anything useful for you right now. I um, guess I'll have to get there myself then. Yeah, he does say that he's. Uh, if if you've got something you think needs looking at, he'll meet you at the life centre of the uh, the lab. What do you want to meet at the lab in? Well, the best. There is a lab in Durham. Which are you closest to at the moment? Um. I'm not. Sure, I'm not 100 sure on the life centre. What is it there apart from a museum? So. Well, the life in, is one of the most advanced biomedical yeah. laboratories. Well, that's where yeah, COVID got 
thingy. So, it, it's also um, the reason that the um, Human Genome Project came in 10 years ahead of schedule. Well, you might want to drop off your little samples you've been collecting. Yeah. Yeah, the problem is off, that's on the other side of Newcastle, city centre. Yeah, there's the Durham one, um, which is where I technically work, mm -hmm. and that's yep. where my boss Dur is Durham in the University Durham one. Science, uh, uh, science uh, Dr. Lindsay is the real one who's there in real life, um, but I guess I could try the life centre as well. Top of you guys. But that's in my head to try and get there, but we need to just immediately, as for now, is to just find somewhere to lay low. Okay. Well, you know, Erin's sister uh, lives just around the corner. Sorry, Jenny, go ahead. Oh, sorry, that's Lizzie's sister, isn't it? But mm -hmm. yeah, I was just going to say, I'll tell everybody what I heard and that it sounds like they're shooting at something on the coast or in the sea or something like that. <laughs> it's not good. Helicopter gunships. Yeah. Yeah. Sounded like it. Yeah, it Must definitely be. was. Yep. You know that there are several Royal Air Force bases along the northeast coast. There are mm -hmm. fewer than there used mm -hmm. to be, but there are still um, still there. See our our helicopters <coughs> they're grounded, so yeah, right. it's bad, really, really bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, while all that's going on, I'd still like to uh, attempt to communicate with my relatives. Okay, go for it. Considering I did get through to them previously, you did. You're not going to have any problem because they're at home, so they're on a landline. You're calling from a landline. They're, they're kind of. Um, you spoke to them earlier, so they already know something's going on, so they're probably awake, even though it's two in the morning, trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Yeah, well, my message to them would have been all of you get yourselves together mm -hmm. in one place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so they, I presume, at my parents. Yes, they're all currently gathered at your parents' house, which is the biggest house amongst the various family members. Um, possible exception of yours, because you've been doing quite well with the garage, but uh, after yours, your parents' house is the next biggest. So they're all gathered there, they're like, what's going on? Well, the news is all over the place. They're talking about looting and terrorist actions, and there's been a crash mm -hmm. on the metro. What's going on? Yeah, we were on the metro, and basically there are. This sounds uh, fantastic, but I've seen it with my own eyes. There's some sort of creatures roaming around outside, and they're hostile. Some sort of you what now? There are monsters in the streets. There are monsters in the streets. Well, I know that the the younger generation today. That's exactly how we think <laughs> of them as well. But... Yeah, so, round round that, that that housing estate. Yeah, that was yeah. terrible. That all the security cameras and the police and everything <laughs> mm. didn't put them off. But no, these these are actually things. I've got some video footage from the uh, workshop uh, cameras. Right. Right. You, but you sit can tight. Hear your mother in the background going, "What's he saying? What's he saying?" And your dad's going. He, he thinks he's got that his hand over the receiver, but you can still kind of hear him as he goes. Sorry, go ahead, sorry. What were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing, but I shouldn't be. It should be serious, shouldn't it? Right. Well, so as long as you're all safe, you stay indoors and you don't go outside. Yeah. Keep the lights keep the lights low. Keep the lights or off. Okay. okay. Off. We'll do that. We'll do that. Right. Don't attract attention to yourselves. <laughs> oh well you know us, we'll never uh we'll never attack attract attention. Meanwhile, in the background, you can hear some, like, blaring music, which tells you that one of your siblings is definitely there. And you even suspect you know which one. <laughs> so, turn, yeah. it, turn it down. Turn it down. No, turn the lights off as well. Turn the lights off. Thomas says, what they like, not attract attention. Meanwhile, there's a the sound of a party going on behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Right, oh, okay. great. Fantastic. It's the <laughs> end of the world as we know it. And, Funnily uh, enough, that's what's playing on the stereo. R E M, right. end of the world. Yeah, and then uh, oh, the, 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 music, the music in the garage is playing is uh, Through the Fire and the Flames We Carry On by. Frank <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Right. R okay. Rand's changing the channel. He's quite amused with himself because he's just heard uh, we didn't start the fire. <laughs> I did. <laughs> 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 
and it didn't like it when we tried to fight it. <laughs> okay, right. I reckon we should then, uh, what should we do? I mean, here's obviously, we've got doors and what have you. Mm -hmm. um, we've got facilities and what have you. Well, you know what I think I, what we should do? You know what I think we should do? England. What do you think we should do? I think we should go to a farm somewhere. I'm not, I'm going to persist with that idea. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna, and we're gonna raise bunnies, are we, George? <laughs> can you see it? We, go, we can go. We can go to a farm. We have a wide open space which you can keep watch on. It's away from the population, so it's not gonna have too much noise. Uh, it's again away from the population, so the likelihood of the monsters coming towards us and going away from their prey in the city is quite low. We can grow our own. Don't you food. think? We have. We're in the middle of the city. It's not exactly a farm anywhere. Well, that's why we have a car, yeah. you know, to drive to the car farms. Go and live in the lakes. Go and live in the well, lakes. don't you why think don't the people who the own the farms will be thinking the same sort of thing? Get off There's my land. There's two ways we get around this. There's two ways we get around this. <laughs> we find an abandoned farm or we make the farm abandoned. Uh, no. <laughs> don't I think so. I was thinking more maybe there might be an abandoned Cold War bunker somewhere. Okay. Um, yeah. There definitely are some in the Northumberland area. Um, yeah. So I think we should get out of the city. It's gonna or a or a castle because like let's there's face it, they built castles to them, defend. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely there's also a bunch the, of castles in the area. Yeah. The, there's the cotton mills and stuff like that. Not cotton mills. Um. Just, just castle. Castle, the abandoned mills. Yeah. Oh, there is a gun shop. Oh yes. Not, not there <laughs> is there's a gun shop in Barnard Castle. <laughs> there is actually. Yeah, maybe we should. Yeah, actually, we, we, me and Jenny may have done some research for a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a gun um, shop. Is yeah. there a precedent for when everything goes to hell in, in an apocalypse for people driving to Barnard Castle? <laughs> yeah, yeah, apparently. The distance, I would MD probably... Need a, MD need an eye test. <laughs> yeah, you just don't have to have good eyesight for it. Yeah. Can, can so. you get there before Dominic Cummins? Though, that's the question. Yeah, that's the question. He'll be yeah. right up there. He'll be in that Bose Museum. We'll be like, this is mine now. Yes. Um, what about, <laughs> right. okay. about Durham University? That's, yeah. like, that's a castle and it has facilities. The, the Durham Castle is part of the university. Yes. Yeah. Um, now, if we're going to get like that, there's a castle in Newcastle. There is. The it's keep neither. Yeah. There's the keep. So I really bridge. think we should get out of the city. Yep. That's like somewhere, point. somewhere where Probably. we're in, somewhere where we're close enough so we can do supply runs, but not close enough where if things get bad potentially, we're not going to be caught in that. Okay. Well, I would say Durham. Then. But see, Demo Durham's got quite a large population, which is why we we should go to the lakes. It's not why a city. Don't we live it's got a large yeah, population, what? though. What? Is, is, he, is he just in Durham City there? Yeah, I was going to say, Durham's definitely a city. It's just like, city it's, because it's, of its cathedral. Uh -huh. It's a town. No. No, <laughs> all, all no, no, no. no. The, uh, oh, the contentious. <laughs> <laughs> For something to be a city, it has a university and a cathedral, doesn't it? It doesn't nope, necessarily. Just that's one of the uh, criteria, but uh -huh. it's not actually the only one. Uh, Durham would be a, a city even if it didn't have either one because it is the county seat, uh, which would also yeah. follow. Well, either way, we need to get out of Newcastle. It's <laughs> also okay, apparently can't... got a population of almost 300,000. It does, yes, but that's including the uh, outskirts who <laughs> would necessarily consider part of the city. But well, that's like maybe in a couple of weeks, and we need to kind of get our loved ones to like a better place and then like lay low for just a short time mm -hmm. then you can get your farm <laughs> imagine all the people we could fit on a farm imagine wow. what might happen if you let the games want us to finish a fucking sentence no. <laughs> 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 so could i have an, in an intelligence uh, tactics role please or an intelligence research role or an intelligence cartography role any one of those will be fine you can have none of them. You can just have intelligence. Or you can just have intelligence. So Adam Taylor has passed. Yeah. Um, okay, Ben's character is narrowly missed. Uh, Rab's missed. 
Does that mean my opinion? Yeah. Uh, does that mean my opinion anywhere. to live on a farm is invalid? Sorry, Jesus. Uh, no, it doesn't. What? Uh, I'm trying to answer a question somebody asked me about two and a half years ago before you all kind of sound Um <laughs> Well, you didn't so much ask me, you floated the concept and I was going to tell you the uh, what you would know about it. So, yeah. uh, Adam, you know as well as Durham Castle that you mentioned earlier, um, you're quite keen to head sort of Durham way. You're also aware there is an old bunker um, on the outskirts of Durham, off towards the northern pit villages, um, yeah. on, on the way to this little crappy town called Stanley. <laughs> there's, a, there's an old uh, Cold War bunker out there. You've no idea how big it is. You've passed it often enough to know it's there. There's no secret about it. Um, <coughs> but you've no idea how big it is or how you'd get in. You've seen the air vents, but you don't know where the entrance is. Um, and that was I'm gonna guess the on. government's gonna start using those for like oh. civilians. <laughs> right. uh, so Lizzie's passed as well. So Lizzie, you've got a bit of an interest in some of the castles of the region, so you know there are loads of castles in Northumberland in particular. As you head up towards Anak and Amble, you've got multiple castles in that area. Now obviously Anak Castle is a bit inhabited at the moment, because the Duke of Northumberland lives there. Uh, and there's barely a week goes by where there isn't at least one film crew shooting something. However, there's, a, there's also a castle out that way called Warwick, ca uh, not Warwick Castle, um, Warkworth Castle, which is a bit more of a ruin. Uh, it's not actually lived in, but it is um, owned by the, um, I forgot what to call them now because I keep changing the damn name. Um, National Trust. National Trust, thank you, yes. Um, there's that, that would be a defensible position probably, and there are a few other castles dotted around the area as well uh, that you would know about. Um, there's also, uh, let me see now, Thomas, so um, you would know about both, you'd know about the variety of castles in the area, you know uh, there are um, <coughs> old World War Two, sorry, old Cold War um, bunkers out in Northumberland. You didn't know about the one in Durham, but you know about some of the big ones in Northumberland. And you also know that underneath the city of Newcastle there's an incredible warren of all kinds of tunnels. Um, yeah. Some of which date back uh, at least to the Victorian period. Rumour has it some of the tunnels lead right the way back to the Roman occupation. Um. So there you go. Yeah, you, you can go. You can go basically from say where the IV, RVI is mm -hmm. underground all the way to the river. Yes, so they say. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't know the exact uh, path, but you've heard that said many a time. Um, and as far as you're aware, that's true. Uh, so there's some options for you. Did I learn anything? I got an eighteen. Oh, did you get an eighteen? How did anything different? Uh, I think I've covered all the options, so you'll have you'll have known much the same stuff. Um, okay. That there are um, bunkers in uh, Northumberland. There are um, castles dotted all around the place. Some of which are still inhabited. Some of which are ruins. Some of which are um, almost living museums. You also know there are a number of old mine shafts scattered all around this area. Northumberland, North Durham, all that sort of area. If you knew your way in, they would make quite decent. Um, uh, I mean, if I could to get to my helicopter, I could scout some places to see, you know, if. Indeed. Yeah. You also know there are a number. If of... there were any problems, mm -hmm. but. Mm -hmm. I was I'm not thinking sure of a does it have really to be safe to do that. Does <laughs> it have to be your helicopter from the from the bay, or can you fly any? I shouldn't fly any helicopter. Any. So if we could just find another one that's maybe even closer, or, with, or within the like the direction we're going. We need to bear in mind that like the police are still a thing. We can't just break into somebody's like you know. Yeah, helicopter. that's the thing. <laughs> and the military are flying around, so. That's um, true. So maybe flying like right now isn't an option because the RAF doesn't want us to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. we might have but to wait until... Where's Edmund Smith's? still his helicopter. <laughs> I don't think he lives that, that low. I'm not sure, actually. Um, 
Um, okay, but I, I know that last week you, we talked about the fact that uh, Lizzie's sister just lives around the corner and the building she lives in is about 150, 200 metres away. It's really not far. When I say around the corner, I mean it. <laughs> Why don't we just go there for now and we can come up with a plan yeah. there? We can make that mm-hmm. defensible, board up the windows and all that. I'm, I'm bringing and then we it up because the she's already mentioned to her sister you were coming to get her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. well, when we say we're going to get her, right, does that mean we're all going to pile into the cars, get as much stuff as we can out of here? Yeah. That, that's entirely up to you guys, because... Um... That was the plan, that we were going to do it by yeah. car. We were going to stuff as many car, working cars full of as much stuff as we could, you know, and go get her. Because, um, obviously, while well, she's sitting there, she can be intelligence gathering, and if the internet's on, she can have the TV and the radio on, she can see what she can find mm-hmm. out. I think um, the reason for Sean's question, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the point he's making is... You could send one or two of the cars out together and bring them back here because this is actually a relatively secure yeah. position with certain supplies that you need. It does lack certain yeah, things true. as well, Lord, bear in mind. There's not a lot of food here, but at least you've got an unlimited supply of clean water. Could get get food from, from her house that would at least last a little bit. Mm-hmm. Maybe some bad water shops. or something. What, 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 yeah, what I was going to suggest, right, yeah, mm-hmm. is... The Lizzie actually gets on the phone to her, mm-hmm. tells her to get ready and prep everything. Oh, she's already yeah, done that. That's she's, a slide, yeah. She's, she's already done, done that. So, uh... so we take one car, mm-hmm. right? Maybe three people, <coughs> and yep. whoever can drive. I mean, obviously, <coughs> I take it Aaron's brother and father are in the car. There, they're not going to yeah. go. Mm-hmm. Right, no. Aaron's not going to go in that case. She'd stay with them, I would suspect, and her car's the other grey car there. Yeah. Yeah. So that leaves us with either the sports car, the green car, or the, the big grey car. Big grey car need to fit more, innit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking. I think, I think, let, let me just um, say, if we grab her in the sports car, we can grab her really quickly. But if we get the big grey car, you would know this as well because your garage is there. You're not actually that far from quite a range of supermarkets. We could do a quick supermarket run. I was, I was just about to say, what me and Rab and could break it. into a supermarket and grab some stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, to be honest, it'll be 24. If it's the one up, if it's the one I'm thinking of, the great big Morrison's at the, at the top of the bank, the Clooney's on. Um, Biker, I want to say. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. 24 a supermarket. And, I mean, it may not be open. It may, have, like, it may have been overrun by weird creatures and be shut, but, you know... Yeah. There is a right up there. <laughs> well, he'll just give him the heaviest car and he can ram red for us. It's sorted. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. That might damage the vehicle. But, <laughs> but we don't need a ram it. We can just simply, yeah, like. You, you should just be able to break it's in. our speciality. So, so some bricks. <laughs> who can drive? I've got lock picks and I've got a bulk of talent. Yeah. Who, who can drive? So Joe hey. Watson can drive, Rab can drive, I can drive. Mm-hmm. I presume Adam Taylor can drive. Yes. Aaron can drive. Most of us own a car, don't we? Mm-hmm. I don't own a car. I, I don't. I don't have. I don't think I have car on my uh, uh, driving on my thing because that's not really one of my talents. I can't drive either. I don't. Just I don't think it's actually listed as a talent, driving, though. Doesn't mean you can't drive. It just means you're not yep. a specialist at it. Right. If you had it as a, as a focus, that would mean you were above and beyond the average driver. It means you're stalling moss. Right. Yeah, that sort of thing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You'd be an advanced driver, so a police pursuit driver, mm-hmm. a racing car driver. Uh, um, mm-hmm. All my character thing about at the moment is to get Jasmine to get my girlfriend. Son of the chief, please. Right, so. Too, that's right. Uh, <coughs> okay. Is also, where um, Joe lives, remember, if you're still wanting to go home as well. So, how many people can fit in that sports car? In the sports car, I think it's two. Let me just have a look. Um, I mean, Probably. three of the push if you really want to load somebody into the back, but if you've ever been the poor sod who got plonked in the back of one of these things, it's. Like Baz's car. <laughs> It's even worse than Buzz's car. 
yeah, not you or me, Brian, in that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that was a nightmare. Just, it really was, yeah. Uh, let me just find the section again on... So, NPCs... Cars. I won't be able to bring anything back with that car, though. Then what's your character's height? No, I mean, if you if you want yeah. to, to uh, take a car that can load a lot of stuff in, you want to take the people carrier, really. Um, mm -hmm. Can my car be an S-Class Mercedes? Uh, S -class I don't saloon. see why not, given that you're quite a well-off um, bank robber. <laughs> they, they they cost 91000 Although, having oh, yeah. said that, I'm going to say probably Sim. not, because it's too uh, <coughs> noticeable. <coughs> You're probably I am. A, I live to. A, a, I live. A, remember, I am the sons of uh, some people who own a law firm who live in a very wealthy yeah. part of Newcastle. Mm. Well, what I'm Joe. More thinking of is if your car is seen in areas just before a bank robbery happens, it's going to be remembered. And if it's remembered two or three times in a row, the dumbest plot on earth is going to start to ask certain questions. <laughs> um, okay, so the could I car have to answer the question? The sports car, to answer the question, has a capacity of two, so a real push, you could get a third person in it, uh, but you wouldn't be able to bring much gear. The um, people carrier will hold up to eight people comfortably. You could have two people in the people carrier, fall down the back seats, I imagine they can do that, that can be oh, your yeah. storage car, yeah. bring the other cars for the people and just dump everyone in the cars. Yeah. So you could, like, the blue one, you could get five people in, six at a push. The people carrier, you can get two in with all of your shit in the back. That's uh, enough for all of us, isn't it? Yeah, there are three other cars. Yeah, you've got plenty of cars. Well, it's just a question of which one you're taking. You uh, as I was suggesting. Because we, we don't all need to leave together, do we? You know, to pick. No, that was Sean's point initially. Are you going to, is everyone going to leave mob handed? Or are you going to send a party to go and get her rather than everybody going? That's what that, what Sean was asking, I think. Um, She's just down the road. Why don't just just somebody go and get her? It's not that hard of a just drive. I'm up, gonna go and, and I'm gonna go and get in the sports car and go and get my sister. Right. Good. Right. Do that. Can I go and go shopping <laughs> so we can get food? Uh, to the supermarket, you mean? I I can. Yeah, I'll steal some food, because I'm greedy. Um, I was going to say, with me and Joe get the mini, and we we'll go and get my girlfriend, and he can get his car way back, and go to the supermarket. Okay. Car's been impounded. Gonna... Oh, his car's impounded. Yeah. His car's impounded, yeah. that's half the problem. Yeah. But then, oh, so I'm just it's up to him stop. whether he comes with, then. No, I'm just going to get food. So you're not you get your girlfriend, not I'll get some food. food. No, um, I've, I've got, I only wanted the bow, and I've got one from Sports Direct, so. Okay, so what's your rallying point? Is it back here? It's back here, yep. yeah. I would say Rab, not be you alone wanna, and you have come... a buddy system. Rob, do you want to come nick some food from Morrison's? <laughs> I'm on that sounds pure dead, Gammy. And they'll, they'll have some buck fast, won't they? Oh, well, certainly, yeah. Oh, I've got sorry. some left anyway, but I, you can always hear me, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, Marie, Lizzie pulls out in the sports car. Let me just check that the sports car's actually <laughs> back on the road. I'm uh, going to make sure the I'm going to make sure the roof is up. Yeah. Yes. So the much protection, but at least it's some. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so sports car's currently fully repaired, so it's also got quite a good handle. So you're off just round the corner. It's highly unlikely a great deal's going to go wrong between here and there. As you as you drive off, it's relatively so quiet. Hard. The city, um, part of the city, you can see a few people sort of gathered here and there, staring at the purple sky. Excuse me, trying to work out mm -hmm. what's going on. Also, could you give me a perception test, please? Perception seeing. Wait, it's dark now. What is this? Is the sky like black or is it still purple? Still purple, and it was dark beforehand. You were on the last okay. metro. <laughs> oh. Also, I just when you asked us about the feed from NASA, I did say it's purple everywhere. It would be night. <laughs> I was just like you know remembering. It was like three weeks ago. <laughs> it was one week ago. Nice. 
<laughs> nice cast. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. You notice something. What you notice is the strong purple light that was burning in the sky earlier is much, much dimmer than it was earlier. So whatever's happening is reducing. The purple light's kind of dying off. Oh, good. Yeah, totally. Uh, you come to a halt outside your uh, sister's house and beat the horn, I think was what you'd said you were going to do when you got yep. there. Yep, I was going to hit the horn so that she... Uh... Right. You see, um, you see one of the windows open. She sticks her head out and like waves, and the next thing you know, she comes running down the stairs and out the front. She's got a fire axe over one shoulder. She's, oh yeah. She's got a backpack on. She's got a hold all, and stuffed under her arm, she's got a chainsaw. Ain't enough. <laughs> Does she, did she bring a broomstick as well? <laughs> she she was looking at the sports car going, you brought a sports car, how am I going to get all this in there? <laughs> Just hit it in the back, we're only going around the corner. I, I, the corner. Busy I could have walked around the corner, I could have been there 10 minutes ago. No, 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 when you see when you see these things you'll know when to walk anywhere ever again, get in the motor. Okay. No evidence Just for them anymore. Just start stuff into the back of the... Um, <laughs> loading stuff into the back of the car. Uh, let me just find... Um, oh, right, okay, it's not on the, the master sheet, so I'm going to have to find it the hard way. Uh, that's creatures, that's people. Um, Adam, Aaron, Joe, Thomas, Rab, Elizabeth, Dave, uh, Vicky, Ryan. I'm just going to pop her up so everybody can see what um, uh, Lizzie's sister looks like. So you can all see the pur purple haired woman with, with the psychotic look on her eyes and the black and grey <laughs> axe, yeah? Um, yep. Yeah. That's, uh, that's Lizzie's sister. <laughs> okay, so she hops in the car, she like rams the, the bags in the back as best she can, they're kind of jutting out at angles. She sticks the chain <laughs> chainsaw on the back, which is like kind of half sticking out the window and just now trying to get the axe somewhere it's not going to decapitate anyone if you have to stop suddenly <laughs> <laughs> right, she finally finds a way of doing it gets in the car puts her safety uh, belt on seat belt on mm -hmm. right okay i'm ready what we're waiting for <laughs> okay we'll head back to the garage okay you drive back around the corner to the garage. The rest of you who are indoors, who's already left? Uh, I think I have. If Rab's coming with me, then he would have as well. Okay. Yep. Which car are you I would have stayed... Oh. You want to go ahead, Chris? Go on. I would have stayed because uh, I, I would be thinking of a buddy system. Yes. So if them two had gone together, and I would wait until Lizzie's back before I left. So, Joe and Rab, I've lost sight of what there is. Which car are you guys taking? They were going to take the people carrier. They're going to take the people carrier. Yeah, we can load the back up with that. So you can uh, steal as much stuff the as backup. possible before you... Uh... Yeah. So, uh, this car here, I'm going to have... I'm going to set that to carry token Joe and uh, carry token Rab. Question: yeah. uh, The Morrisons we're going to, or whatever shop it is, I'm assuming Morrisons. Uh, does it have? Is the security like you know the one in uh, Stanley, the Asda and Stanley? How it's got a podium for the security? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I know. Is it like that? that? Yes. Is it like that, or is it a? Uh, oh, it's like that. Cool. One of us can distract him. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna say you because I've got a really good stealth. I could just stealth past him with the trolley. <laughs> um, when, when... Why, why? Why? Why couldn't you just like? You're not got a debit card or something. You just pay well, for of it. Of course, but how do you think I stay rich? <laughs> <laughs> I don't pay for anything. <laughs> He's got a point, mate. Why, why, why don't you just pay for it? I've just answered your question because I want to stay rich. <laughs> That's rich people for you, man. Why should I have to pay for anything when I can just nick it off a poor person? <laughs> so why is... Why is the car now in the pit? 
Uh, it's not as driving out, I'm just moving it out the, uh, out the way there. Through the wall. Through Crash. the wall, yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm yeah, I would going... suggest bringing the sports car inside and the Mini Cooper inside as well. Turn these two cars round so they're facing out towards the door. Yeah. Ah, oh, the car's disappeared and I've been left. <laughs> oh, right, you should have disappeared with it. Um... Well, the min those two cars outside are going to be currently getting used. <laughs> yeah, but once they actually come back, I think we should all have right. all five vehicles inside. Yeah. And then that way, when you, you when you go out to get in them, there's nothing lurking in the back seat. Yes. I, will, I was going to shout to them before they leave, remember mm -hmm. to bring bedding, or at least sleeping bags. Okay. From the we'll shops. Nick the entire store, don't you worry. Let's come come back and they've got a sofa tied to the roof. This is where they come back and you get full of uh, the best quality booze, the worst quality booze, and four tons of beans. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then Rab says, "I don't know why we've got all these beans. We're not having a party." <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, so uh, that'll be Lizzie coming back with her sister, who I should have dragged out when I had the chance. Um, I'm just going to close the jello mold. Let's see. Uh, yeah. so I'm setting, um, Jenny, we're getting a bit crackling through your... I'm going to stop again. <laughs> every time okay. I start talking Literally about every it. time I start to talk about it, it stops. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> it's the other, it's the other verse. It's the other verse. The headset um, static on your audio jack. If you pulled it out and put it back, cleaned it and put it back in again, it'd be fine. Yeah, I just don't know why it would happen so infrequently. But... No, it is kind of odd. Mm. Right. Okay, so you guys can hear a car coming uh, outside. As you peer out, you can see that it is the... Um, Sports car? Mad, ac mad Axman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <coughs> Just going to straighten that car up a bit. There we go. And move it over there. Okay, so you've managed to get that car in as well now. Um, I'll just move this one out of the way. <coughs> so it's starting to get a bit crowded here with all the various cars inside the... Uh... I was, I was going to have these two turn around and be facing out over. We've, cle we've cleared these... Bodies away, haven't we now? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you have access to the cars, you can move them yourself. If you don't, I'm going to have to do it. Um, I can't remember whether I gave players access to the cars or not. No. No. Oh, right, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me just sort that out. Uh, I would ask if anyone wants to come to Jasmine with me in terms of the body system, or if not, I would go on my own. If I can move that one then. Uh, oh, that's so also on. actually a garret. That's also a shutter. Oh, yeah. well, we can move stuff over here as well. All players, there you go. You should have control of most, if not all, of the cars. You just spotted another one. Still a grey one. one. There you go. Right. Uh, I have, yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. Okay. You, can, you can move the cars around as you want to um, secure them. So, can you lower uh, the bridge and just stick the car on the bridge? Yes, that's a no need to do that. Can be done. Okay, so you're going to um, put those two there Rab like that. And um, Joe, Joe, sorry, thank you. Yes. You're driving through the streets of Newcastle. What you notice is in large parts of the, the city, it's much quieter. But you can hear the sounds of um, crowds and some kind of rioting or looting or something in the distance. Can I have perception seeing rolls from you both as well, please? Certainly, sir. There you go. <coughs> if I can find it. Okay. Bells. Oh noticed but it takes him a while and also I should say Joe has noticed but it takes him a while to notice. Would figure two give me a plus two or is it still just plus one? Um I 
don't know all without looking it up, but it says it's added one automatically, so I'm going to trust that yeah. for now. It's a pass anyway, it's a bare pass, but it's a pass. Oh, okay then. That's yeah. fine. Okay, so uh, what Joe's noticed is that the purple glow in the sky is uh, much, much less than it was before. You're starting to see the moon again, and you can only see one of the stars at the moment. Um, the, the North still, Star. Still, yeah. The others you still can't see yet, but earlier the gr the uh, purple glow in the sky was just blank and everything out. So whatever's happening up there, something's changing for these. Um, improving, you want to say? It's your natural inclination to consider that an improvement, whether that is. I do kind of want to check the the NASA footage again to see if anything's changed there. Uh, while you drive it. Uh, why not? I already break enough laws. Uh, okay, I don't in condone case, this I in real life. I'm gonna need a dexterity driving roll from you. Shit! Actually, you know, I've decided not to. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> in that case, I'm probably not going to need a dexterity. Because pro I'll probably end up crashing and killing us all. <laughs> well, it's always a possibility. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just wait. Okay, Just wait until so, you get back. Um, so that, da -da 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 -da. Okay. There we go. Right, okay, so as you're driving through the, the streets, you start heading up towards Jesmond. Things are getting quieter. Uh, the sound of the city streets is in a different background. You're not entirely sure, but you think the purple glow is weakening still further. When suddenly, out of nowhere, another car comes screeching around the corner at high speed. Give me a dexterity drive roll to try and avoid it, please. Come on, dexterity, pull me through. Thirteen? Mm-hmm. Good. Nice one. Okay, so this car would have taken you out, but you just glanced because you heard something coming. You glanced down and you thought, he's speeding up at the corner, he's not he's not slowing down. So you put your foot down and shoot off. And he just glances off the back of your car, dents it very slightly. Not enough to do any harm to anybody who's inside. What's he driving away from? Can I see? Um, Has he been chased or anything? He, 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 yeah, having a look round, you can't uh, make a perception scene. Uh, Fourteen. Ah. Oh. Okay. Nice. Yes. <laughs> In that case, you can definitely <laughs> see. Um, uh, it doesn't actually appear to be um, driving away from anything he's sort of coming in from another part of the city you think he's also come out of the uh, uh the city center but via a different route and he's now heading off into uh uh like up into the suburbs even further than you up towards sort of south gosford type of area you don't know how long he's okay. been driving like a lunatic but you imagine it's uh it's been a while he probably panicked way back in the city and he's just not kind of got himself under control at all. So you're a little bit shaken, but you managed to, to pull away and accelerate out of danger, so you're okay. Um, you pull up Crystal. to... Sorry, go ahead. I said cool, that's all. Yeah. You pull up to Chris... Is it Chris, is it your house or your girlfriend's house? It's my house. It, uh, well, has Chris came with us? He hasn't, has he? I'm confused. You were no, I'm, I've got my own... I'm no, the... we, went, we went shopping. You did, so you were heading to Biker, weren't you? Not, uh, not thingy. So forget what I said about uh, the, the quiet streets of um, Jesmond. You still almost got hit by the car. Uh, and also forget what I said about not being chased by anything. Because you're in what? Biker, <laughs> so you are being ch he was being chased by something. Uh, this is before he oh. gets himself out of trouble. So let's just drop you into a Biker street scene, shall we? Can I keep oh, the... God. Perception roll. Um, would you like to, to see what he's been chased by? Just to see what he's been chased by. Of course you can. Yeah. Um, cool. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna. I've got an on. awful feeling about what it might be. Have you? I hope it. I hope it's just a single tentacle monster. I bet <laughs> you do. Yeah. So I'm just gonna position you like roughly where you came to a halt after the. Uh, um, the near accident so you kind of <coughs> drifted to a bit of a halt there 
Uh, and what you um, can see I'm still on the garage map. Oh, yeah, well, I don't know if I was mentioning. I'm just going to drag everybody across so you can all see what's about to happen. Ooh. Um, so, yeah. Ooh, popcorn. <laughs> so that's where you are at. Let me just find. Um... Okay. So, uh, I'll just drag this across. I can't see anything. Um, yeah, likewise. Give the car. What the hell's that? Turn on the lighting. Turn the lighting on. Vision. Then control by all players. And there should be plenty of street lighting here for you to be able to see. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what that yeah, is? It's water. <laughs> oh, she yeah. knows what that is. Yeah. A fan goes. <laughs> it's like a shark and a T-Rex had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's kind of running uh -huh. up the street. <laughs> this thing is fucking huge, man. It's, um, it's about <laughs> the size of a large buffalo, but the entire front oh. is just teeth. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I was kind of <laughs> contemplating hitting it with a car, but maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's coming up on you from the flank. You can try and outrun it if you'd like to. I it's think me. that would be a good option. <laughs> okay. First of all, because you've just come out of that um, shunt with the, the near um, collision, you're going to have to get this car started again. Make a driving roll. Okay. Yeah, you're all awesome. yeah. Okay, nice one. So, also because this is a chase and that's a driving roll, I'm giving you those six points in your chase pool. So, hell yeah. Uh, ben plus Rab. You've got six in your chase pool. Let's make a pursuit for the. Um, uh, the Does this have a dash cam on it? Um, if you wanted to have it, has. Because that would be quite interesting to show everyone the horrible mm -hmm. whatever uh, that unfortunately, is. Unfortunately, uh, the, the dash cam will be facing forward and this thing's coming up behind you. Um, I'll just, do a, I'll just do a quick U-turn. From the flank, whatever. it's going oh. to need a uh, perception. Uh, no, not perception. Uh, I know what I mean, but I just can't think of it. Uh, dexterity. Um, test, so let me have a look. Oh. It's failed. Uh, it's I hope. a pass, but it's only got two in its pool, so you are... You see the thing coming, you st you try and start the car. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Tom, you were supposed to fix this. Uh, now let's just see what was wrong with this, actually, before we... Um... Nothing was wrong with that, because Nothing it was, was fixed. That was the one that was fixed. That was one of the ones that was fixed. Okay. That was where the so tyres were replaced. You've got the uh, car going on the third attempt. Vroom, and off you just realised you weren't giving it enough choke. Off you go. Um, and this thing's running along behind you. Vroom, 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 vroom. You can see it. Have you seen um, uh, Jurassic Park? Yeah. You know the bit where the T-Rex is the T-Rex chasing the car? That's essentially oh, what's God. happening now. So you're like herring off, the, off up the street. This other car that was coming down here is now swerved out the way and driving uh, crazily across the, the thing to try and head in the opposite direction. The creature kind of glances at it briefly and then comes after you instead. So the guy that was originally driving away from it in a panic doesn't need to panic quite so much now because it's decided to eat you. Instead, you look like a bigger, juicier target. <laughs> big metal, uh, big metal meat. Indeed so. Uh, could you give Canned me food. another um, drive roll, please? I'm really worried about this. This is gonna. <laughs> these things are. Oh. Nice. Jenny, tell them how nice and friendly and cuddly these things are. <laughs> Just run. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. I don't plan on sticking around too long. What's, what's the name of that TV show? Fango Rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Um, Kiss your lips goodbye. I am <laughs> half tempted. Chris, I am yeah. half tempted to uh, ditch the car and hide in a building. To be fair, but I kind of don't want to. Yeah. Probably Chris, my about these because they appear in the book as well. So you start uh, putting your foot down, trying to get away from the thing. The problem is, it's a biker. 
there's a few cars still on the road, not as many as normal, but there's a lot of cars parked up. There's a lot of twists and turns in the road. Make a uh, third, oh sorry, no, it's, it, you've just made a, a roll. And, um, I that. It's my probably game. didn't do very well. Well, you added two to your uh, your <coughs> chase. Pool. Oh, that was actually a pass. Which gives you an eight, and it only added two, so that's actually a fail. So you are tearing yeah. away from it now. You're a good distance ahead of it now. You reckon you'll have lost it in a few more seconds if you can just keep uh, keep your foot on the, the gas. You're kind of looking panically over your, your shoulder, but you think we're definitely making good headway. We're getting away from it. It's nowhere near as fast as me. Um, so make another drive roll and let's see if you manage to I, uh, I did for you there preemptively. Uh, yes, you did. So that's a pass. That's another three in your pool. So that's you up to 11. Um, let me just see if this There's no way this, uh, this dude's coming for us. Um, None of us get to six. Right, okay. So, um, you know you had to say it, didn't you, Chris? <laughs> it was already rolled. <laughs> yeah. Can I roll down the window and launch a Molotov at it? Yes, you can. <laughs> You can. So go ahead and make an uh, accuracy attack. You're in a moving vehicle, so you're minus two, I think, to hit it. it might be three at this. It'll be three at this speed. Minus three. You just know if the news catches this, they're going <laughs> to focus on the fact that you're Molotov and that you're throwing Molotovs, That's not that you're getting chased by an alien. So you've like leaned out of it and lit one of your Molotovs and lobbed it at the thing. Cross off one of your Molotovs. You think like like. Uh, Joe's thinking there's no way you're going to hit that I'm moving at like 55 mile an hour um, and accelerating and that thing's like running up behind oh look you hit it <laughs> <laughs> as the Molotov goes <laughs> through the air the creature's kind of running towards the, the car kind of looks up at this thing as it goes <laughs> and hits it in the forehead roll the damage surprised it didn't try to grab it out of the obvious mouth um, I, I, do you know what I actually considered exactly that <laughs> Oh, you've got five points of stunts as well there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, could you? He could knock that prone, couldn't he? Yes. Which would yeah, be. So I'm about to have a look at the stunts as well before I roll damage, just in case I take the. The. Uh, the fishing more one. Yes, of course. Uh, let's see. Knock it prone. I will use. Vicious blow, okay. knock it prone. So it automatically fails its next um, chase test. Yeah, awesome. And <clears throat> no. Does that give you a skirmish point, or does it give you a plus one to your next dice throw? Uh, knock prone gives. No, I'm uh, saying... Well, if we were in melee, we would get plus one but range attacks. Uh, no, no, I was meaning with your extra points. Because I'm assuming vicious blows too, not prones too. Yep, yeah, so I still get one left. Yeah. Um, take cover's an option. It's either going to be take cover or skirmish. Uh... If you skirmish it back, it'll actually lose one off its chase pool. Yeah, I'll skirmish it then. Okay. So you, have, so you have vicious blow for the extra d6, not prone, and skirmish it back two yards. Okay. Go ahead then, roll the damage. So you lob the thing, it hits it right in the forehead, it tumbles backwards. It, it sort of, this gurgling, bellowing, like, as the flames burst across it. It's not entirely happy about being set on fire. <laughs> well, is there anything? Not usually, not as a general rule. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's ten damage by the time I take its toughness and its ballistic armor, which is half its standard armor off. Um, yeah, yeah but it's not coated in flag. burning petrol. And it is currently coated in burning petrol. So you have caused from the ten damage that would normally be, that's five has gotten through past its toughness. Remember that time we had to run from them on foot? That was good. Yes. Oh, well, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Re remember that time you had to, uh, all six of you heavily armoured had to run 
armed rather, had to run from it on foot and then dive into the back of the car and pull away. And, yeah. To be yeah. fair, there was three of them. There's only one of this so far. So it's tumbling like tail over back legs. It's tiny little front arms are flailing about. It's sort of banging itself on the head as if it's trying Washing to for the piano. Out. And it's tumbling backwards as you hurtle away. Could I have another driving roll, please? Absolutely. Another 15? Um, that's, um, With five, uh, five on the stunt. That's, uh, no, you didn't get any stunts because there's no double. <laughs> five on the stunt. Oh, sorry, so you mean uh, to go into the thing you pull, yes. Yeah. So you're pulling away from it nicely now. That's your <clears> nine <throat> points ahead of it. It's automatically lost this round. So as you're r racing up the street, you can see coming up on the left-hand side, there's a turning. If you turn left and then sharp right, you can come round behind the uh, supermarket you're aiming for and pull into the, the back loading base. You reckon you're now far enough ahead from this creature. There's a chance you can do that without it seeing you, in which case you'll lose it. However, it all comes down to the next round. And it's lost its... Um, it's automatically failed this round, but the round we're about to do is a new round. So it will get a roll this time. But go ahead and make a drive roll for me if you would, please. Try and do well. And oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's another six. I'll just pop that in the pool. And it's passed, but with only four. That's uh, 11. So you are... Those little ahead. legs are never going to catch up to a Volvo. Nope, you've managed to lose it. You <laughs> zipped around the back of the, the thing just killed the engine and the lights and after a, a few minutes you can see this big shape in the night because um, some of the local lights have, have blown uh, so Plus it's slightly on fire still yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> so uh, you see this big shape in the night with its head on fire just <laughs> up the street past you the wrong way you notice that the fire is not as extensive as it was before However, you can roll us another 2d6 damage for it. I'll give it uh, I'll give it back before the fire goes out. Okay. Oh, it's lovely. It's, it's two comes off that one. So Yeah, uh, so I think uh, at this point my character is going to go from his, his mindset before, which is, oh, we're fine, we've got this too. Ah, uh, maybe not. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to call that Crispy the Fan Goat, just in case you encounter him again. <laughs> <laughs> Got burnt marks on it. it was, yeah, burnt marks on it. Absolutely. Uh, but you've made it to the supermarket. Um, you've <coughs> hidden in the darkness long enough for the thing to go hurtling past you and off up the street. Back. I'm surprised at... you weren't afraid of it. Sorry. I'm surprised they weren't afraid of it. <laughs> yes. Uh, back at the. Um, there might have been if it gotten any closer. I mean, I could have given a, a fear. Uh, check, but it wouldn't have had a great deal of effect. Be a be and all that. Mm. Uh, Our fear response would probably be the floor, I guess. I think it probably would, yes. So I'm going to pop everybody's view back over here. <clears throat> so, Chris, are you taking anybody with you when you go to pick up your girlfriend? I would ask if anyone would want to come with you, yes. Okay. Is anybody going to go with Chris, uh, with um, Adam, while he goes to pick up his girlfriend? Mm. Uh, I'd be staying here because my dad and brother are here. Yeah. I don't really feel like I should go because this is my garage. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Oh, it's... You can go by himself. Aaron's dad he? sticks his head out of the the. Vicky, I know goes, both of them players. And goes, uh, get in the car. I'll take you. Um, and then says to Aaron's brother, you, you get out and stay here with your sister. I'll take this lad to go and get his girlfriend. And we'll meet you back here. Your brother's like, no, Dad, you'll be... No, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Walla. Just you stay is here, he, Bonnie. Lad, is he going to go in his car? Get... Yeah, he's going to go in his own car. All right. Right, so... Um, go in the blue car, Chris. Okay. Well, I guess I'll want to go then. <laughs> so you're going to go with your dad and Chris, yeah? Yeah. Stick yourself in the blue car. I'll be like, they're not going on their own. Yeah. Stick yourself in the blue car then. Charming. Yeah. And uh, you guys head out with Chris's character to go get his girlfriend. So, Chris, you're with Erin and Erin's dad 
on the way yep. to pick up your girlfriend. Um, and get my stuff, yeah. Rab and... Um... Ben's at the supermarket. Yes, uh, Joe. Sorry, I forgot the name of the character there. Uh, at the <laughs> supermarket, you're going to uh, consider looting it. And I think that's where we'll leave it for the evening and we'll pick it up there. Um, it'll actually be two weeks' time. We'll not be here next week um, because we're going to have to take a week off on account of the fact that we have some uh, work going on here at the house. Um, and I, I don't know how disruptive that's going to be. So just for ease, right. I'll, I'll say that we'll have to take um, next week off. And we'll pick up the game uh, in two weeks from today with you guys on the way to uh, Adam's girlfriend's house and the others in the supermarket attempting to loot it. And we'll go from there. I had considered ending... Um, part one there, but there's actually quite a lot of interesting um, stuff you could still do at this part of the, the thing before we move the camera for part two to a couple of weeks after the first event. So next there event, is indeed. Yes. Yeah. So in a couple of weeks' time, we'll pick up from here for the next part of part one of the story. Um, if the players could stay around whilst I uh, log us off from the broadcast, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed the show. See you again in two weeks. Take care and stay safe.